Oh, nice. Play your hand, play your hand. No fuck, counting the stacks, stacking the bags. 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 No fuck, play your hand, play your hand. Play your hand, play your hand. Play your hand, play your hand. Play your hand. Good evening and welcome to Champions Poker Live. It is another special one here this Friday Frenzy Night. A lot of returning players from last night's stream. Good look at Cowboy Rick in seat four. And this is the lineup for this one three action tonight. Everybody buying in for a thousand, Bobby Filet for 850. And we'll get you introduced to everybody. A lot of familiar faces and Yuke Dog making his stream debut here at Champions Poker Live. And I am joined by none other than Andrew Voden that played last night as well. But jumping to the one seat, we've got Tish Money and of course, Craig the Frog as well. Excited to see the Nick game. Craig on the lily pad and see if Nick Tish knits it up or plays pretty high on his V-Pit. Rude Poker looking for better card distribution tonight. Last night, not going his way really. In from out of state here, one of our content creators and owns the Barrel Social Club in Kentucky. HV, stream regular, and crusher. If he doesn't add on by stacking other players, he's going to be quick to match the stack here tonight. And what a seat draw. Cowboy Rick, Slick Rick, right in the middle of HV and Bobby Filet. Third time on stream this week, and uh, Bobby with his signature move here, head down already, must know that the camera's on him. He's been grinding things out for over a week now here. In from New Jersey, third time he's come down from New Jersey to play stream and on the floor and done really well for himself. And Drew, bet on Drew, no longer Pika Drew, getting uh, some food and I think that's a special back there. He was the big winner last night. See if he can do that same thing again tonight. And then the Poker Lion, local poker vlogger here in Houston. He filled a seat late last night, but looking forward to potentially five hours of his play here. And as mentioned, his stream debut, Yuke Dog, going to be really interested to see his play. He is an entrepreneur that is no stranger to televised performances, got funded on Shark Tank. And here we go. <laughs> Abby Poker looking directly in my eyes and your eyes, freaking us out. But that's Twin, and I hope she does well here, just like she did last night. So that is our lineup, and we are starting things off with Joe, one of our best dealers in the box. God, if he had as many hands as he can with, as he can with you. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Interesting spot for you, Andrew. Sitting back here versus being out on the felt with all these players. Anybody you're really excited to watch tonight? Yeah, it's super different uh, being back here than not on the felt with these guys. But I'm really excited for Rude Poker already getting in the mix. Um, his card distribution obviously yesterday wasn't as much as I would have liked to see him play. But uh, hopefully he gets in the mix today. I was playing with him on the 1-3 tables before this. So uh, looking forward for him to mix it up. And, uh, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> our, same, our same content creators. Hope they all crush it. Let's go, you and me. Yeah, so <laughs> keep it that way. <laughs> Potentially three players to the flop here. Action on Drew now. Peeling back the 10 3 of hearts. Likely going to get out of the way. And he does. So heads up to the flop. Abby out of position and the pre flop aggressor. I don't even know how I could like, think about playing every hand. Flops a gut shot to Broadway. Good for me. And Rude Poker, top pair. I don't think he lost very much if he lost. Are you going to do the chat? That's impressive. 
Shout out to Milkman. <laughs> I like how Abby's already mixing it up with the three bet out the gate. She was relatively more tight yesterday, and so was Rude, obviously, with the cards that he was being dealt. Um, but some of the two tighter players already getting in the mix for the first hand. Three bet pot with king queen offsuit. Yeah. And Abby does have that dry king of diamonds here for the backdoor diamonds, but check mark for Rude Poker. It's definitely tough in these spots when you three bet 100. <laughs> And you start at 1K oh, effective, so. I thought you had this set. One time through your stack, it's hard to maneuver this You're early on nice. in these yeah, three bet pots. That was uh, aces. That was the I have, though. I had aces. Yeah, that was pretty funny there at the end. <laughs> I was like, wait. Aces. Wait. Sounds wait. like set, but really <laughs> just top pair. Yeah, three. Whatever people, and, and some people say that too, like all the time, and I always like get freaked out whenever they say that. Oh, because you saw it. Yeah. Time. You're nervous? I don't even know why I'm nervous. HB, you're nervous? Is, the one is it because of me? Be honest. <laughs> it's the frog, right? I didn't see the hearts at first. Down. That no, 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 no. hat oh, by Cowboy no, Rick is reaction. starting to grow on me quickly. Targeting. <laughs> Gonna fold around to the ducks in the cutoff for the poker lion. So you sense danger. Huh? Yeah. Raises mm -hmm. to 15. Mm -hmm. And Yuke Dog, the only caller <laughs> in position. So that's usually when I'm playing, because I'm, I'm a tournament junkie. Swaps a gut shot. Obviously, it can still hit either of his pairs ahead of these deuces. Probably about like three and a half days a week. Yeah. And like full like kind of tournament session. Open ended now for Yuke Dog. Just 84 out in the middle. Goes check check real quick on the turn here. And uh, board pairs. Ducks remain high and good. You stream sometimes. I've watched, I've watched you when you hop on. Yeah. Is, is it just, it's just like whenever I, I used to do it a lot, but now it's just There we go. No more nerves. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, Thank you very much. Just Good fun if I'm like reviewing some spies and I'm like. Are you guys like, down to start a Nick game? Yeah, yeah. yeah Shit, already? <laughs> yeah. So when so I, just, when I it's usually like always Tish, the first one to bring up the Nick game. She's opposite. She likes the bomb pop, but doesn't like the But you don't yeah, like the Nick game? I, I don't prefer it, but like it's fine. We can play. But how much is it for this game then, per person? Whatever you want. Larger than Whatever I want. Hundred. Probably. Probably. Yeah, probably hundred. Yeah, I was thinking a hundred <laughs> player. What do you think, Abby? I'm probably thinking two. I feel like one hundred is a little cheap. You know what I mean? Let's just go really to the stack. <laughs> Actually, if just you lose the game, your stack Yeah, your stack. Yeah, just your entire stack. <laughs> your stack is like dead money. <laughs> 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 Let me talk. I like that one a lot. We'll get his stack every time. Six six that $9,000 bomb pot, everybody would be on. That'd be awesome. Seven, eight, nine, mm. Zero V pip. Zero V pip. God, what a nit. I heard such good things about you, too. <laughs> I gotta relax. You're to my left. I really gotta chill. <laughs> I'm honored. Um, you know. <laughs> you probably said 25 multiple times, right, Jeff? <clears throat> Making me blush over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna win like one hand and then lock. Queen high flop for true. HV. Does flop the best of it. <laughs> probably never get invited back. So true. Yeah, That's exactly. That's the difficult part. Yeah, 
5, 6, five, ten. Five, ten, two, three, four. Attaboy. Oh, I like your uh, Godzilla thing. Hey, not a lot of people know it's Godzilla. Is it Godzilla? actually Godzilla? No, that's uh, Gigant. Oh, okay. okay. But everyone's like, oh, I like your dinosaur. Looking on over at the chat. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> the super <laughs> chat <laughs> by Jason. Definitely not. <laughs> Quickly becoming one of our regular viewers. No shock to see Sheila in the chat as well. And good seeing some Uke Dog fans tuning in to support. Oh, sorry, Joe, was that not far So here we go. Heads up to the flop. Poker line in position on Slick Rick. Cowboy Rick with the only spade in this hand, but poker line. Making top pair on the turn. Check, check, flop. Check and bet on the turn here. Pretty easy poker here so far. He was weak. His hand is weak. He didn't want to put it. <laughs> Who was it? Are they sitting here today? <laughs> You'd have to say that. Are they in seat one? They're not here today. Yeah. Now everyone at the so, table is so pushing Joe their best forward mm -hmm. So Joe told me that he had this tell on me one day, and I asked him, Joe, what's my tell? And he says, um, well, I asked him, is it like physical or is it like a, like a sizing thing? And, he, and this is what he tells me. He's just like, Tish, you just always have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's the tell. It's a great tell to have. Monotone flop here. <laughs> Cowboy Rick, middle pair, top kicker. He's weak. <laughs> Bet on Drew, the only one truly connected outside of that, but Tish, the open ender. Let's see what Cowboy does. Uh, just call Cowboy. With all those spades, it, it's going to be hard to really build this pot, though. No change on the turn here. Sick game. Sick river. 7-5 gets there. Also has position. Interesting raise here by Tish at the end. Doesn't believe Drew has a flush here. So trying to get some potential value. It's a sick raise because he can try to level Drew into making think he missed his flush draw given the action on the flop with the call. And Drew just wants to jam it here. But it's super sick because oh, obviously he doesn't have space and he just oh, has a straight and he tries to go for more value Already. rather than just call. 100%. I'm picking up everything. What? At least you're not doing the like. What a steal. Did you ever tell him? Like everyone's saying, everyone just thinks that Tish stole it there. 
which is exactly what his raise did. It made it look like a bluff oh, miss spade. You don't, you don't think I had it there, Adrian? Yeah, because what does a three <coughs> really do there? <laughs> Super sp Already six spot for Tish to have a raise and almost got <laughs> extra value there where a lot of people just flat. I think I played that one really bad. <laughs> Fives buried for Uke Dog now. Already again. First in, raising a 30. Pretty quick three bet though from Ace Queen out of the hijack. Okay, six, number four, five, number six. How many hands will we end up with, Joe? How many hands will we end up with? Usually about 100. Can we play fast? Yeah. We're almost done. <laughs> Last night we ended up with 114 hands. See what we can do here tonight. Fives getting out of the way. The guy in the pink hat. Four betting uh -oh. to 300, and what is this? Five bet shove snap and a call. snap call. <laughs> Cards uh, on their back, it's please. It's gonna... Early start, rip it, so we can match. Yeah, Rick just wants to match the stack. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, stacks are too small for this cowboy. I think you guys have the exact same hand. I think we do, too. No, we don't do it. Now he's ahead. No chance. <laughs> no, I'm definitely fucked. <laughs> They chop in this hand, guys. I already know. King 10 getting there. Chop in this hand. Chop it up. Two over still for Tish. <laughs> no ace and They're both floraling each other for sure. And the gamble pays off. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I thought you told me you don't play tight. That was tight. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you open, you know, I mean, you're ready to put half of your stacks in. What am I going to do? <laughs> And with that, early blood, Cowboy Rick is the stack that the other players can match. Up 870. And Tish reaching for more chips now. Nick game not on yet. Still very early. So lock in. Expect this little leaderboard here to get a lot more green and a lot more red by the end of the night. If someone sits down at your table with a pink cowboy hat and then says they're going to play tight, I, I wouldn't take their word for it. Yeah, I, that's a good read. Your, your live reads are on point tonight. But yeah, very interested to see who ends up on top of that leaderboard by the end of the night. Usually, we ask the chat to put in... Yeah, the BWP, <laughs> the big winner <laughs> predictions. Obviously, you're going to choose your favorites, who you're tuning in for. Ishan, probably going for Uke Dog. Same with Liam. Braden, probably pulling for Slick Rick in the cowboy hat. Oops. I don't know. I might just have to pick uh, Poker Line, even though I'm also still Team Abby. That's Poker Math right there. Math. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Me and the best. Hard to follow a hand like that. Guy. Not a lot of preflop action now. Wow. If it's like, if it's, if it's. Two hearts it's on board and middle pair for HV. Wow. If you're a stream regular, you know the storyline between these two HV versus Bobby Filet, the mod know. god. <laughs> Bobby with the signature. Small bet there on the turn. Wow. Good bluff. I like you guys. Easy game. <laughs> you stealing? You're stealing? Good pull, buddy. I had it. 
I think two pairs of nuts. I think two. I think two pairs of nuts right there. Make you think about it. Great. Suited connector for Tish. <laughs> Definitely got to bump it up. Back to 14. And now. <laughs> <laughs> big slick for Cowboy Rick. Drew folding one of the kings, poker line folding one of the aces. I haven't done one since my boys were born. Two years. I think I put one out. And these two going at it early, clicking each other back. Whatever you have. Sorry, Tish, but uh, five bet incoming here. Before the stream, Tish said he wasn't sure if this was going to be a super action-packed stream like yesterday, and I said, you can make an action-packed and then, you know, spice it up. And I think I influenced him to make some of these uh, more aggressive plays right now that are happening. Yeah, and he definitely wants some of that money back from Slick Rick. Wow. Not going to get it this hand, though. Worst yes, I agree. Probably what are you trying to do? Like, uh, <laughs> at least trying to battle. I, I won too much yesterday. I just, <laughs> I just like my hands, bro. I'm just playing my hands. I promise. It's not. You want so much money. What about folding? Snap folding, too. I don't want to waste time. Man. So much. Snap folding. After four betting. Suited ace wheel for Tish now. What? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I already knew this stupid shit was going It's like Bobby's buying the button here. The offsuit King Jack. Button does fold. And folds back around. <laughs> Checks out. After what I just did, I'm not fucking <laughs> Especially when you wear that. Hat. Then it was a reason it's, it's, it's good for me. I think. I don't, I don't it's good image. It's, it's not good for you. Not. People are going to start calling you down. So you, don't you better have it today. <laughs> I will say it has been pretty cool to watch a lot of these players just play with each other more frequently over time. Both loosen up the table talk and the action as well. And then it makes our jobs easier back here. Sorry. Even the king hit you like, I don't even know if I'm good. <laughs> Bing ten. Paired flop here for everybody and uh, trips for the poker line. Sick flop, Bobby has open-ended with 5-4 and the line's just in position. He can play this however he wants, call, raise, everything's right. <clears throat> quick raise and quick call when it gets back to Bobby. Pairs up his four, still has open-ended. Not much really changes for the lion. After raising, he should probably continue. Yeah. Stack sizes are a bit weird. Yeah, jam. It's hard when you guys are still this shallow, so there's no sizing Yeah, that you really want to pick that you can bet turn and then jam river. Quick call from Bobby. Still out. <clears throat> and it holds. 
Yeah, one of those flush draws coming in on the river. And again, that's why you just want to fast play that, especially to your point about the stack sizes and how shallow the players are currently. And like I said, this leaderboard will change relatively quickly here. Poker line climbing his way up closer to a thousand in the green. Tish Money down a thousand and Bobby Fillet reaching for more chips. Lost the initial buy-in of 850. That was a good one for the Lion. He came in late to yesterday's stream, lost a quick band and then we broke the stream. So good for him to start out strong in this one. Hopefully it continues. So if you need like a set, it's part of coming, you know? Everything's new, really That's nice. Where are you based out of? Nashville. Any good games? Yeah. Barrel Social Club. And <laughs> like, like this, basically? Well, this is a little bit, a little well, like, bit nicer, well, yeah, but yeah, yeah, same concept. But it's, like, yeah. it's like a poker room. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How big do they have to be playing? Well, the biggest game we've had is 5'10". Cards were cursed. Is that yeah. Oh, ho. I always play. 5'10 uh, is a 3K <laughs> count. <laughs> we do our best to... I base it, though. Fuck that. Keep, it. Keep the players in Damn, charging me. Work. Yeah, break the game. Right. Charged. When we get our live stream, we'll be happy to have you guys Intrigued. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. HBM trying Checked to win out. daddy yeah. money with this. Are they going to have a stream? They already have a stream? No. They don't have blind on blind <laughs> action. <laughs> Tish says he always plays it. Abby limps, and Tish makes a 15, and we see a flop, which is super great for Tish for having 7-5. Pair and flush, obviously. She bets a 15, and Abby calls. Turn doesn't really change much. You checked. I checked you. Good check. Shot control. Thank you, thank you. That's neat. <laughs> Sick River has, good, Abby does block no, the nut flush, but Tish gets her with his flush. And how about a $5 <laughs> I'm not block just bet? calling this. <laughs> how much is in the pot? At least five bucks. Can I pay a now, buddy? <laughs> 75, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. That's so in influence action, but uh, she looks down at the king of hearts, realizes she has, you know, the nut blocker, and then decides to go for it. Aww. Sick. Sick, sick, sick spot. Nice. Somebody <laughs> owes her $295. <laughs> Whoever said that. Can you believe this? This is Houston. I guess. I don't much, but I have a flush. It's okay. I get it. I'm easily peer pressured into making decisions like that, too. I mean, it is a good move, especially holding that king of hearts as well. I think maybe a little bit bigger could have got it done, or maybe not. That initial five dollar bet change that up some. Yeah, definitely tough for Tish to ever fold there in a blind yeah. on blind action spot, and then there was no action pre flop except for Tish's raise. So hard to put Abby on a, a better flush there. Yeah, story not checking out. That King of Hearts is suited now for bet on Drew. Uke dog, three betting to 150. I like it so far. <laughs> Dominating the black sevens in the big blind. I should count my VP. I would have played it normal. Like I've never seen before, just made it. I love how Adam just feels bad for folding that hand. Feels yeah. like he's a nit, but he made the right fold. <laughs> and look at this flop for the king, Trey. Terrible kicker, but plenty of Broadway cards out there. Drew continuing to run good from yesterday, I guess. Yeah. He's just happy every time. Drew just makes it easy. Uke Dog gonna have to continually unload the clip here in order to get this done. It's okay. 
but shuts down on the turn, and now two pair for the King Trey. Wouldn't be surprised by a lead here. That sounds like a good time. It is. Yuke Dog already checked on the turn. Likely to check again here on the river if Drew checks it over to him. Only the best. This guy. Well, five. What? Real offensive taste. And a nice little pickup there for Drew. numbers on your TVs. Uh, those track the TV numbers. Tablets, they're all just TV numbers. Oh. Well, so like when we need to change a TV, we can just see it. Yeah. They're, they're blocking the view of the TV. Race. Six, seven, eight, nine, four, it goes four, away four, usually after a little bit. I don't know why it's not there. Yeah, it's not there for a minute. <clears throat> then a quarter full. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Strange. Really? Um, <laughs> I don't even care about these games, but I just want those numbers off the TV. Oh, I think I know what it is. He's coming here and he go with you? No. He's going to meet you up there. Oh, he's flying here. Bobby deciding to mix it up. Oh, and he gets there right on the turn. Sadly, Tish does not really have much of anything, so unless he catches River. You dog raising it up. Yeah, Suited gapper. Tens in the hole. <clears throat> Placing the three bet. And it's going to be impossible to hit her set now. Saw the other red ten hit the muck already. With how many times I saw tens yesterday, I'm still rooting for Abby to win this one. Yeah. You saw it, what, four times still to you? Yeah. yeah. One with Four it. times, and uh, I probably would have, yeah, I would have won all of them if I played them correctly. Yeah. But. <laughs> I'm supposed to have aces right there. I don't even know why I have ace nine on two. I, I still call if you have aces. <laughs> <laughs> Nine-bits 50. Do you still win if he has aces? A dub for the tens. probably like have aces. Yep. Five, seven, five. Uh -uh. I thought you had five. Ah, that would have been nice. I folded. <laughs> I knew you had aces. It was kind of aces. Always <laughs> love to hear it. Good, Good fold. Nah. Sure. Uh, you know would it that? be like a tank call? More oh, chips nice. hitting the table in seat six. You think so? Death hand? Okay, I'll give you one guess. Promise. Super light. Guess what I had then? Seven full CD. Uh, Damn, how'd you know? <laughs> 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 Maybe like ace nine offsuit. Ace nine off? Ace nine off? Ten. 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 
I did not have ACE time off. <laughs> Yes, punish him. Do you, you feel punished? <laughs> You're such an enabler. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my job's not done yet. He doesn't feel punished. I'm. Never mind. I love this small open sizing from Tish because it just incentivizes someone to three bet him. Surprised he doesn't four bet with his hand and he sees a multi way, but don't mind it. He does flop the nut flush draw on a paired board. Still has the best hand. Look at a six, I'm gonna start playing. And Bobby just donk leads out for 75. Do you feel punished? I think I'm gonna punish Bobby. <laughs> Bobby straight face hits his pair, but Tish improves to the nut flush. Yeah, Bobby needing some boat outs. Might not know it. Does go check call here on the turn. No boat. Bets pot and gets Perfect. a quick call. That's crazy. I just love the sizing. You and your hearts today. Good lord. Dish on hard point hard. with the sizing today. To the raise against Drew, where he almost got the call, and then this one where he gets a snap call with the overbet. Bobby, I'm going to need to turn things around here pretty soon. Momentum going in the wrong direction for the five seat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My frog is not as zen as your Yoda, unfortunately. Suited ace wheel. What do you mean? Yeah. First to act. There's a six dollar straddle on. And Yuke Dog raises to 25. Definitely think the this lineup's super interesting dynamic, even though a lot of these people are from out of town or content creators. A lot of them have been playing with each other the past few days out on the floor. And uh, they've gotten to know each other, a lot of their play styles and the way they play. There's definitely leveling going on between certain players, so definitely builds a super cool dynamic on a stream game. Pretty much all the aces accounted for here. Poker line reaching for a healthy amount of chips. Four bets to 375. <laughs> it's a super strong line that should, in theory, work a lot of the time because it's under the gun open, three bet, and then gets back to you on the straddle. And then you're four betting into you your three more players, play, right? which looks super strong. But just in this spot, it's not going to work, obviously, with Drew having ace king suited. I think Harry picked up some stuff from. The way Drew played yesterday, obviously, but uh, Drew was playing a lot differently than he is now. <coughs> Much more level-headed. <laughs> less drinks and <laughs> less of a free roll. <laughs> Drew was quick to get up <laughs> yesterday. An interesting <laughs> sizing here. I wonder if Harry watched any of the stream from yesterday between his hands and Drew because there's a spot where Harry bet 315, I think it was, yesterday and then got min clicked by Drew with the same hand. And uh, Harry quickly snap folded, so Harry might be leveling himself in this spot. 
just with that information if you did watch the stream run back yesterday. Yeah, and literally over half of Drew's stack in the middle now. Showing that he's committed to this pot. Is that what they teach you at poker coaching? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Makes a good, correct a lay down. Where's your badge? Poker coach badge. No badge. No the, the pink hat. Just your <laughs> average one yeah, three in yeah, Texas, right? Wait, yeah, tell the chat how you Yeah, this feels kind of shallow for the one threes yeah, champions it? has been streaming the past two weeks, I think it's oh, been, yeah. right? But it is only me. hand seventeen as <laughs> Joe gets the cards out right now. I don't think so. Hell man. But yeah. As Andrew is referencing, there's been a couple times where we've had stacks north of 10K, multiple mm -hmm. stacks north of 10K by the end of the night. Into a new Texas definitely known for some deep stack crazy action. And I think we've quickly become known for that as well here at Champions. Our good friend Isaac in the chat, anticipating fireworks between Drew and Lion. With the seed assignments, yeah, sometimes the the seed draw just works out. So, looking forward to a lot of uh, different yeah, yeah. spots tonight between the two. <laughs> yeah, they're there. <laughs> Is he single? Oh, Question. The moms like you. The moms moms Abby, love peeling Eric. out of position here. Can you blame them? Come on. I'm going to ask my mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom, why do you like this man? Wow, what the heck? <laughs> Abby, backdoor diamonds, not going to come in. <laughs> Gut shot to Broadway. <laughs> and <laughs> still <laughs> drawing <laughs> to that ace. Yeah. Oh, they're slick. Hey, they're slick. <laughs> HV with the best of it, post flop. Shows up no change to the pot. Give me a <laughs> That'd be unbelievable. Wouldn't that be awesome? That unbelievable. Would be that would make my year. Wait, why are you not calling? Cold calling. Just see if how. <laughs> really ridiculous. We were, uh, we were throwing some banter at the four games yesterday. Mm -hmm. We were like, we know that it's super cold back here. And Oops. We were like, he was just wearing a t-shirt. We're like, no, gotta flex the muscles. We don't want him to put. We don't want him to put on a sweatshirt. The girls were cold yesterday. I wasn't. Yeah, I, I, I didn't was think it was cold. cold. Yeah. yeah. Was, was cold. Always Perfect. cold back here. That was fine, but I have a couple extra pet layers. <clears> That's why I was drinking too. I'm so cool. There are some card distribution for my good friend Adam. Mm -hmm. Queens my plus two to opens to fifteen. <laughs> that would ruin her weekend. She plans. might bring you some soup. I don't know. <laughs> Brave. Like like host a. Uh, a poker mom meetup game, and then Rick is like the <laughs> guy who like goes around the tables <laughs> and plays with all the poker moms. 175. The craziest thing was there was a game <clears throat> where he was playing, and like there was a mom at the table, and she was like, Wait, you're like super attractive. And he was like, haha, thanks. She's like, my daughter's single. Like, are you, are you oh, like, oh, oh. She's, a wing, she's a wingman for her daughter. <laughs> oh my God. Queens and take it down like, pre flop. On the last Can't be mad that about that. Easy. That's actually iconic. I know. It's not I'm my like, daughter, me. So yeah, you have played with she like she like vibe checked him. These players not only last night but previously. Where would you say is the toughest seat tonight? No, you don't have to answer that on stream. Hmm. As I look through it, I think has notifications on. I think Bobby's in a tough spot in between Drew and Rick. They're capable of doing anything. 
Kind of the same spot I was in yesterday between Rick and On Tilt. It's nice to be deciding action on the on the left of Rick and HV, but at the same time you're in you're in some tough spots when you're in between a bunch of crushers. So yeah, really no easy seat here tonight. Cause yeah, you mentioned stuck in between Drew and Rick, but poker line right behind it drew as well and poker line the one here three betting with queen jack offsuit bubbler does have the dealer button like equity a, yeah it's like a uh, low caffeine sparkling water is this like i think so is this like the bubbly yeah it's like bubbly Ace Queen yeah, like with the four bet now. And again, a significant amount of the villains stack. Poker line was facing that same thing just a few hands ago with Drew. You had this? No. What is that? Bubbler. Bubbler. That's what they say in like the east coast, like the northeast coast. Bubbler. Yeah, instead of water fountain. Oh yeah. They call it yeah. bubbler. <laughs> Drink from the bubbler. Yeah. And we then they say and game. then they say water like water. Yeah, literally. Water. water. If you want to play that game, there are other words that I can describe to you. You can give me your word for it. I'll tell you what. How do you say couch? Huh? Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> couch? <laughs> like you mean couch or sofa? It, like, yeah, Minis before. like like Minnesotans we pronounce O's like very Coach. Is it like coach? Coach. 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 My Sorry. grandma called <laughs> my grandma called it a Davenport. Davenport? Oh. What? <laughs> That's a brand though, right? So I weird. couldn't tell you. It's like, like calling Kleenex. Oh maybe. It could yeah. be. Yeah. Joe, I would like a juice. <laughs> you think you could handle that? Joe. I could use a juice. <laughs> what kind of juice you got? Tish is waking up with monsters in the big blind. Snap You know what they have it. I would like a juice with ice. I don't know what kind of. What, what, I don't want and to given that Drew just flatted the first 10, he might actually have a great price to just set mine at this point. Probably happy that he didn't 3 bet. No set mind on the flop. Queens are the over pair now. Turn the volume on one, and they all. They're like when they're switching channels. They know which TV is which. They all have individual numbers. Do you have any juice? Yeah, I have pineapple, apple, orange, cranberry, or like all of them. That's the one. With ice, please. Surprising check from Tish and a quick bet from Drew. Yeah, really quick bet there. Seems like he already had the number in mind. Yeah. Gotta loosen you up. There's five betting too much. I need six bets. I put a thousand in there, King Ten. Gotta loosen them up. More. King Nine next. Drew did I'm go not, for not, <laughs> just under half pot on the turn. Tish checks it over once again here. 620 in the middle. Good, good. Play the street. Mom thinks they're cute. Oh, thanks. Tish is just on, I feel like, if he's trying to induce a bluff by checking the turn. He's just underrepping his hand. Yeah, he easily could have missed on this board. I mean, four purple, four purple. Sure. Great way to pot control and great way to induce a bluff yeah. and just check. check call. Thank you. Yeah, he was looking for that yeah, bluff he, on the river. He said a good check at yep. showdown. <laughs> Sick game. <laughs> Look at the VPIP here. Some important numbers. People really take pride in this stat line. 
how often players are voluntarily putting money in pot. That's what it stands for. Going to see some pretty high V pips here tonight. Action lineup and the numbers here are going to match that as well. Going to be a lot of change here. Still very early. We do stream four days out of the week, sometimes more. And uh, those cash streams are Tuesday through Friday, 7 p.m. start times. Each cash stream going for five hours. Barely getting started here. I wasn't in pretty good game. Not for poker. <laughs> Not yet. Game's better. Do you have any in general? Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. yeah. In the morning, it's like. Red sixes for the lion. I met Brad like a year ago. Back like maybe a year and a half ago. I, I, we I, I met him. I tried to it's tell him about. Brad. This is where back when I was like right back. small. Yeah. He'd, like ghost me. Lion just running into it today. What kind do you like? Did I be the me? I could look at my. The two people you're rooting for, Kyle. Well, <laughs> yep. Uh, ways and tell you where we went last night was really good. I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Poker Line is kind of like uh, Wolfgang and some other stream regulars where they just run so bad on stream here. But then they crush out on the floor. Good quick fold from <laughs> Harry recognizing that. We go There's to probably better spots than than to, to take that one. Oh, sure. That, that's like a, that's like a, it's like, it's more of just like we just, uh, if we go to a place that doesn't, like, usually I get, like, she ends up giving me, like, a fried rice of some kind. Okay, gotcha. I'll try the thing. Like, yesterday very, she had me try, like, a sweet egg bun. That's probably the best. I never had one of those before. It was like a bun with an egg in it. I ate a lot of rice. I didn't want to step I ate a lot of rice. A lot of rice, a lot of lo mein. Trying to get a clothing sponsor. Lo mein. That's the goal. I love how Bobby just walks in with his backpack on. Started to do that. Maybe just backpack back. grinder headphones <laughs> at the table. So I honestly think that he is trying to change up his mojo right now. <laughs> um, I'm sure they went through that, made sure there's no electronic devices for integrity of the game and to keep players focused as well. No phones, no smartwatches. No headphones, none of that I'll at the table. <laughs> Players still allowed to go use their phones, but have to step away from the table and off this amazing set that we have to do so. They really do. They must be delicious. It is. you like Malaysian food? I don't know. What's Malaysian food? Like, I've never been to a Malaysian restaurant, so. Yeah, Champions has probably the most professional stream that I've been on, for sure, the most professional that I've been on. There could be, obviously, others, but I played on four or five live streams at this point, and the way they run it here at Champions is just, it's nuts. Uh, security, integrity, the dealers are amazing. The quality of, you know, the product is just top-notch, so... If you're not subbed already, make sure to press the subscribe button, follow champions. Yeah, and we do have a giveaway coming up later during the stream. Just had a question about it in chat. I feel bad saying you too. Once I get confirmation of that specific time, I'll be sure to share it with everybody. You dog getting in the mix now. Started out the stream with some good hands that didn't win, and now I think he's starting to pick his spots, opening up his range. I like it. Problem is, Rick doesn't like to fold, especially if he's wearing his pink cowboy hat, so. Long, long time. So basically, you're eating raw egg, but it's like black. Wow. I've seen him before. If I know Love the jam from Uke Dog. Now it just comes down to is Rick capable of calling off here? What hands is Uke Dog four bet jamming with? Tough spot. All the ace X's. Obviously Rick has King Queen spades. Really tough spot. Yeah, you can hear it. This is good. 
I'm not complaining. We're on the warm side. We're on the warm side. I wouldn't want to be in the spot as you, dog. Are you cold? Yeah, you can see it. When a <laughs> person with a pink cowboy hat's tanking, yeah, you can never like it. You know, you're likely getting cold at this point, especially getting the countdown here. Is that the one? But yeah, 820 in the middle, less than that behind <laughs> for you, dog. Isaac told us to go to one, and he's like, it's the set, the, there's two of them, and one's cafe and one's... That's that, that's it. Did you Don't hear the to, background chat? They're talking Foo about Foo-Foo's. Yeah. yeah. Foo-Foo's is a place to go, but if you're not really trying to get Asian food, obviously the kitchen and Chef Connie have amazing food and champions, but yeah, Foo-Foo's is definitely the better spot. Bread that does not look sweet in the slightest. Mm. Yeah, I, I, we buy it all the time when we go places that have it. You like you like tapioca? Uh, I like. I mean, I like I like tapioca when it's not inside a bun that's not sweet. <laughs> Actually, kind of surprised. <laughs> I'm giving her a hard time. This Rick's taking this time with it. It's tough because we haven't seen Yuke really go to showdown or yeah. get out of line, so he really does have all the. Ace King, Ace Queen, Ace Jack, but yeah, Rick finally makes a call. Maybe twice. You're good. You're good. I'll, I'll we always talk about what our blockers really in poker, but it does matter when you're blocking Ace King, Ace Queen. I'm really bad. My spades aren't even live. Dead. King Queen. Whoa. Whoa. I'm very dead. No, you're not dead. It's seven or eight. Oh, no, now you're dead. Like and then obviously <laughs> suit distribution <laughs> matters as well. When there's ace of diamonds on the flop, you're blocking ace king of spades, ace queen of spades. Makes it a lot less likely for him to have those type of hands. Obviously, it's never an easy call, but I think Rick dot it through. No, no, no. And then the jam, $700 into an $800 pot. Do ace x hands play like that? There's another one. And we see it there, a quick reload by Yuke Dog. Glad to see it, really. And uh, he might get a little bit more credit now trying to make that move there. But unfortunately for him, he has a hole to dig himself out of. Two players down roughly 1,500 each. And Cowboy Rick way out in front, 22.53. Oh, there we go. Happy Poker. Change that to uh, Cowboy Abby. Cowboy Cowgirl, Abby. Yeah. Cowgirl, Cowgirl Abby. Abby. <laughs> She's uh, thinking maybe you got to be wearing the cowboy hat to win tonight. Yeah, you talk about credibility. So even though it didn't work out in that spot, the next time he has it and he gets that's, you know, Rick or whoever it might be to call off he's just printing so hopefully he does find one of the spots in the stream and he's able to get paid off on it Drew's starting to open up his range like last night. This is where he becomes really tough to play against because you just won't ever know what he has. I was getting too loud, too loose pre-flop. Yeah, borderline, he doesn't know what he has. He knows he does have bottom pair on this flop, though. With a good jam, he doesn't know how to fold. No, no. Fours still in the lead, dominating the six tray. That play, that play was approved. This is why the mom Clubs <laughs> finally come in for nobody. Tish understanding that he most likely cannot win with Jack High, so 
taking a stab at it given the turn action and river action. This bottom pair I'm gonna find the hero call here. He's able to get the best hand, pocket fours from Bobby to fold. chips in hand who makes the call I love that line <laughs> good call from Drew and more cowboy hats have arrived at the table it like fits his uh his SpongeBob sweater perfect. I thought I had two bucks. Well, I'm thinking Cowboy Rick and uh, Tish need to switch. Look at the pink. Tish always wears pink, so that is true. But maybe that would be too much pink. You got the real block, and you didn't have the real block. But Rick plays like someone that would you know wear a pink cowboy hat. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates you saying that, and <laughs> he definitely watches back all of his streams to study and improve. I'll just tell him to mute it this time. Ace Queen taking things down pre flop here. <laughs> Next hand, please. I'm going at a pretty good pace tonight. Hand 26 being cut right now. And just over an hour into our five hour stream. Just a reminder, don't, don't go anywhere. We do have some giveaways coming up later on in the stream. Uh, players, or some of the players, winning money here tonight, but you have a chance to win something here tonight as well. <laughs> Suited connector in the cutoff for the pink hat. This is also a spot I looked forward to for today because they were going at it with each other yesterday as well. Yeah. And Drew turning a gut shot to Broadway here. Both his pair draws are live, but Cowboy Rick smashed the flop. Hit that top pair, open-ended, does not improve, but didn't need to. It's got the check mark. $60, not too much to fight over for these two, but uh, let's go for value now. A quarter. I'm a bit surprised there wasn't more action on the flop. It's coming back around. Yeah. Is Drew contemplating the king high call here, hero call? I think I do. We're both from, I'm from Minnesota. Yeah, I'm from Chicago. So Midwest accent, yeah. You can say that, I cannot say that. Yeah, you can as a Chicago. Yeah. So how do you say like frog on frog, like a like a duel? Kaido, no, like frog on top of frog. Mm, like battle, frog like battles like frog. Kaido tai, Kaido tai, yeah. Kaido tai. Kaido tai. How do you say? Kaido tai. Kaido tai. Kaido tai. Oh yeah, big blind. You nervous? <laughs> That's my go. So nervous, today. HV. That's my go today. Yeah, 
Get in there with Andrew. Four folds, five folds. One time Eddie added, added me to commentary, I couldn't make it. Yeah. It six folds. And that was the stream where I ran super hot too. That would have been a fun one for you to commentate. I would have gotten, I would roast, you would have roasted me so bad. Don't worry, Tish. We do our best at roasting you as well. I was going to give uh, Tish his flowers when we saw the V-Pips earlier. They're 40, he was at 45%. I asked him to be at 50, so maybe maybe he'll get there by the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do love recently that a lot of our stream regulars have... Uh, Really focused on getting their V-pips up in a fun way. It's not like they really needed to. Everybody given quite a bit of action. But there's even been some side bets on who has the highest PFR or aggression frequency and V-pip. And uh, we as the viewers are definitely the beneficiaries of that situation. Yes. Been looking forward to this knit button time, knit game. <laughs> yep. Everybody plays it a little bit differently. Some people don't really adjust their game for the knit game. But some people get hyper aggressive. Trying to avoid the knit tax and sometimes lose more than the knit tax. <laughs> In that attempt. I honestly like heads up in a game. Makes it more exciting. I think like the best at heads up For those unfamiliar with the knit game, those red buttons in front of everybody are their knit buttons. You'll also see yellow dots next to each player's name. They have to win a hand and show that hand to get rid of the knit button. Last player. They, like, to do so the pays the knit tax. The heart, and then, like, Usually it's 5x it. the big blind. Every now and, then on TikTok, be, like, some lady and you multiply that out like by the other eight like players at the table, shit. and we play it as a splash pot. So that's be like, dead money in the middle immediately like following the knit game. Losing player has a chance to win their own money back. Ace high getting the check mark here. I'm asleep. <laughs> Makes a loud noise for some time. So you want to be here another, how long? Um, I have to be at another card club uh, tomorrow. Queen High, looking it up. Ah, Bobby. So the cowboy will get rid of his net button. Bobby trying to keep Rick honest in the net game, but I think I would have liked a raise a bit more in that spot, given yeah. that you have Queen High, but it is what it is. What, she's here with you too? Yeah, she's the alternate for this game. I think he knew that Rick didn't have much, but for that reason, I think a raise is much more uh, appropriate. Yeah, not a whole bunch of showdown value with the queen high, but you're saying just raise it up, try to take it through aggression instead. Mainly because I think his read was right that Rick didn't really have much at all. Yeah. So your race should work, whereas your queen highs obviously lose to those ace x highs. Um, and, and that's why I think he called, because he knew that Rick didn't really have anything. But the few times where Rick has ace high in that spot, it's just better to raise. These are always interesting dynamics when one person doesn't have the knit button anymore and they have an actual hand. You know they're never really getting out of line for the most part. Right. Rick opens, Bobby calls, and Abby three bets, so. And that's the thing, when uh, Rick calls his three bet here, you know he has some type of hand. He's not messing around. I think he called him, wasn't it? He still has the best hand. He didn't even snap. Sorry, Abby hits top top. <laughs> Thought she had ace queen, but she does hit top top and is in the lead now. The question is, does Rick float pocket sixes? 
He's trying to keep her honest. Realizes the Nick game is on. Turn doesn't really change much of the dynamic. Abby probably sitting pretty comfortably in this spot. <laughs> Goes bigger here. Two thirds pot. Pretty good sizing, given that you probably want to get the money in on the river. Yeah, and Slick <laughs> likely realizing that as well. <laughs> Does make the call. <laughs> this is the great thing about the Nick game. You just have to keep them honest sometimes. Clean run out for Abby. This would be a great spot to just jam it. You built up the stack of the pot. Your story is just perfect. You're playing the Nick game. There it is. I like it. We saw a run out like this earlier as well. There's a lot of things that have missed for her. Potentially only one Broadway card there on board. This is the main reason I was so excited for the Nick game because it creates spots and dynamics like this that wouldn't happen in a regular configuration, I guess. Because I think in a lot of spots where the Nick game isn't on, Rick doesn't even think about this on turn or river and he just lets it go. But she is incentivized to bluff here because of the Nick game. And there Does is the, the call. payoff. Beautiful hand there by nice the hand. cowgirl, wow. Abby Poker. Great sizings and betting from Abby. Full double and marked safe from the net game. Good. All smiles in the ninth seat. With that, the leader, Cowboy Rick, bumping down to only 1,400 in the green. And Abby Poker was in the red, but now second place on this leaderboard, up over 430. Two players still down, over 1,500 each. Everybody else, small winning session so far. It's always nice when those two are out of the Enjoy mid game <laughs> and at the top of the leaderboard right now. For that needle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely sore to look at this. It's happening. He's already nervous, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sore to lose him up the night. You need to learn the hard way, buddy. Thank you. Suited connector for Drew. <laughs> Groku protecting that hand. Surprise, Tish just folds King-10 offsuit there in the small blind with the knit bun. Come on. Come on, Tish. Well, that's why he has the knit button, right? For knit actions like that. I love it. Cowboy Rick doing the share of duties of keeping everyone in line during this knit game. Yeah, call it the knit button defense. Drew. Two diamonds on board for him. Is it good? Is it just like a In position as well. You like pineapple? I think the cowboy hat might be so too tight doing? for uh, Rick like right now. Calls with the uh, ace nine, no back doors. I guess he should be calling to look to bluff on future streets, which is never uh, the best plan B. Love it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, when two bananas love each other, <laughs> that is over. That's not what I was thinking, to be honest. If you but put it in a juicer, something will come out, right? Yeah. Drew picks up the gutter ball. Jack gives him a straight now. 
Has even more equity, and Rick calls again with ace high. I wonder if he just has a read on Drew. Um, Drew doesn't need any more help as he gets her with a pair. Yeah, he had 15 outs going into the river and binked one of them. And your cowboy <laughs> Drew contemplating if he thinks his 10 is good or he has some bluff at it, but he'll take his showdown. And Cowboy Rick tabling some loose action there. Good shot of Groku and Drew stacking up some chips there. Won't be surprised if we see some of our beloved Octagon oversized chips hit the felt pretty soon here. I think, uh, seat eight has some. Some purples. I don't like all purples I don't are 500s. Pretty sus rude. <laughs> Yellows are 1,000. And yeah, there we see it. Yuke Dog, um, Ace Jack, um, and of, yep. some purple oversized chips there in front of them. Oh, and we see yellow as well for Tish Money. I need a crunch. The worst choice for the Yeah, right? If it really gets crazy enough, we might see some baby girls come out. The pink 5K chips. This is so funny. After I braided Tish for uh, folding that King 10 offsuit in the small blind with the knit button, he decides to three bet on the button with Ace 8 offsuit. Obviously, it's probably not going to work out given the hands in this one. Rick with Ace Queen offsuit in the straddle. Probably going to four bet and does so. What about you? What's your favorite ice cream? Butter pecan. As you were breaking down that, I just loved seeing HV get up and reach into his bag. He's going to be adding on. HV hasn't been as active as we normally see him, which is uh, pretty surprising, I guess. He just hasn't been waking up with cards, but I won't be uh, surprised if he gets in the mix soon as uh, he's willing to play a lot of hands yeah. and get in the mix. Yeah, I think part of it being his, not only the card distribution, but his seat draw as well. I mean, look at the four immediately following him. Slick Rick, Bobby Filet, Bet on Drew, and the Poker Lion. Not the easiest seat there. Can't really afford to get out of line. And again, not your typical 1-3. Not all the one threes across the nation are going to have a high frequency of three bet, four bet, five bet, um, but we've already seen it here tonight. I just saw seven four folded in yep. the under the gun with the knit bun still. It's kind of brutal to see. You have passed your initiation of champions commentating. Finally played a hand, huh? <laughs> by providing that line. Can't fold the 7 4. It's the Dan Fouts hand. I usually grab Cherry Garcia. Cherry Garcia is good. I like that. Uh, anything peanut butter is usually good. Oh, Speaking so of HV not getting in the mix right. in the small blind, 3 bet. This is definitely a great hand to 3 bet with. You never want to go multi way and out of position. Unfortunately, though, Drew and Tish get in the mix. Given that, oh, Tish has the nib button and decides to four bet. Love this line as well. I think when it's the full thing, it's too much, but personal, I don't know, personal opinion, for sure. Have you ever been to the Ben and Jerry's factory? HV not sitting too deep in relation to this four bet, so maybe thinking of a jam possibly rather than just a call. Yeah. Born and raised? Yeah. Uh, no, no, sorry, okay. I'm from D.C. Okay. Like, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, did you come here for college? Or? No, I went to school in Canada. <laughs> oh, wow. Vancouver. Very cool. Yeah. You know Greg goes all in? Right? Yeah. Yeah, he lives in my friend's building. Oh, no way. Yeah, so while I was, like, going to my friend's apartment, uh, I met, ran into him. Yeah. Wow, I love yeah. Greg. He's yeah. my fiancé. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, love him. Yeah. Shout out, Greg. Good guy. Mm -hmm. 
I'm really happy he won um, that GPI award yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been working hard. Yeah. yeah. Interesting yeah. spot for Drew now, yeah. given that the three better folded, yeah. and his hands like relatively under rep. Yeah. And he knows that Tish still has his knit button. But I liked it a lot when I People, I think, make, like, This is why the knit yeah. game is so great, because it causes these dynamics where you really just don't know what they have. Are they getting out of line? Are you willing to risk it for them getting out of line? And he does you fold and Tish shows the king nine to yeah. remove his knit bun. Right, it does look good. Like, in yeah, fact, it tastes so good, too. <laughs> it's so easy to make friends. And yeah. He's, <laughs> I was and it's not, like, too big, big, big of a city. No, not at all. So that's you, you run nice. into the same people once you yeah. 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 You know a thing or two. Exactly. There's only, like, a few places. Oh, that, that's what they cost. come here all the time? I run but I didn't tip you. Yeah, when you go to the sick, the live stream, one, three game. Okay. I'm actually going to make a compilation. Thank you, Paula. I won't say which two cards right now, but I've gotten the same two cards, I'm not kidding, <laughs> over six times already on this stream, which statistically is hard to do. Approve, yeah. yeah, right? Is that why you're raising so much? Is <laughs> God, I wish. Shit. Nick game on, and we're looking at a bunch of Nick game hands here. Six oh, yeah. deuce, jack four, six four. <laughs> for the three. You guys say that again. <laughs> I was just kidding around. If I get stacked, say that. You we'll weren't kidding around. <laughs> <laughs> the first 12k pod. <laughs> Champions Club history. Yay. For the three. <laughs> In one three. <laughs> Chips? <laughs> <laughs> Six dudes getting there, but six four getting there on the form of a flush draw. Rush. What do you want me? Yeah, this is a pretty sick hand. Pair flush draw, jam, snap, call. What do you have like? They know that both e like they have to know that they each have trash here. But just smash this flop. I love it because Rick just is fitting that description with the pink cowboy hat, trying to keep people in check as a sheriff, but... HV getting there immediately yeah. on the turn. No sweat. And gets there again. Six high. Flush. <laughs> it's even better when you get to get rid of your knit button. HV uh, spelled out in chips there on the table. For those of you who don't know, Bobby Filet and HV have a bit of a rivalry. Uh, Bobby claims that he studied HV's play for months before he came on the stream the first time and targeted HV specifically. Also happened to make two straight flushes, one of them against HV. There he is! What have we here? Special guest has arrived. I knew it. Let's go for it. We have a stream. How much you had from the front? There's more frogs, you guys. The old box of us. Oh my God! I want them all. I only have okay four, 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 three, four, three. No, there's ones where I over bet bluff with nine eight, and then you at nine eight. But the thing is, we can chop in the river. Like, hit the river. Seiko, Seiko. <laughs> but then you like you click the back. I say if you hit the, I hit the. Like, even if like it's the like queen, right? But then yeah, like we chop a lot on the river. Pretty cool video and throwback there to last week's stream. Really testament to uh, how how much fun these players can have with each other, and of course, showing love to Bobby Filet. If he's not out on our felt, he's in the chat constantly. 
So we did have to uh, make up a little Bobby Balboa poster board there for him and uh, award him with his blue wrench. Our official mod god. Do you know what he had? He had two pairs. It's weird though. I mean, I don't think people would really yeah. have He had six dudes, he said. So yeah. I don't think I'm well, the favorite. Like, I can't really call it anything, yeah. but I probably could have thought I only have three, four, and nine, nine hearts. Yeah, that's it. It was like 12 out. Multi way, but it was like yeah, kind of nine hearts. Mm -hmm. And three, four, that's it. Nine, 12 out. We didn't come, we chopped out on the river. Okay, so yeah. Not on that board though. What do you think? So if the queen hit on the turn, right? Or the river. Or the five hit on the uh, river, we chop him. Like yeah, the, only, the only card that I'm winning is the three. That's true. Jack. Okay, it's gonna be close then. Yep, I'm gonna win the 100, 300. <laughs> you bet 300 on it? No, 100, 100. <coughs> I like your. I it's because of. What do you want? Like you already flopped two pairs. There's no way I'm. I'm, I'm there's no way I'm fair. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, Unless I hit the top there with the flush card, then maybe. Anyways, we were, like, kind of you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Very close. <coughs> Surprise, Rick, that hasn't uh, added back on yet after losing that pretty substantial pot to HV. I think he's really just fine playing this and finding a spot to get the rest of the chips in. And if he can't find a spot quick, then yeah, more chips will be added on to his stack for sure. Ace high flop with two spades. Uke dog connecting with bottom pair. And the only spade working for Cowboy Rick here. Just, or can you, will you be able to, let's say we put the hand in and you can see the percentage of two hands. Why not on your phone? Never mind, you don't want to spend it. I know what you're talking about. You want me to go do it? Oh, do you have it? Oh, to see you what can the, just it, between yeah. you two? Yeah. What, did oh, you, no. what was the hand? You the had hand six, that we just played. You had 6-4. I didn't know what he had. He told me he had 6 deep. Jack right, 9. One second. Now open-ended. Yeah. Yeah. Who was that random guy just walked back here? You got it? Okay. Um, I don't remember the flop, though, so you got to tell me what it is. 6 queen deuce. Okay. Yeah, it's a diamond. An diamond. Sizable bet gets it done there. Pretty dream turn card there for Slick Rick. Only other better card than that would have been the Eight of Spades. <laughs> okay, this one will work. I'm, you're fine. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll fold real quick. What was it? Thank you. Well, we're not Called it. We're, Rick just we're, added we're on 1500. Three purples <laughs> hit the felt. It's very close. Maybe, maybe 55, 45. What six do you He's got there? those yellows in the back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you have? Three pairs? If you win, it will be like 15. Two pairs versus... 49. I wonder if Matt actually cleared out some of his uh, safety deposit box of those 500s before he went to uh, Vegas and vacation. Okay, you had six... You had six four of hearts. Uh, Matt, that usually plays some of our bigger games here on stream. A huge fan of those 500 chips. And then what did he have? He had six dudes. Of anything? A anything. Okay. Drew, probably a huge fan of the suited king at jack on the button. Oh, fuck. It's really, it's literally, it, six four of hearts has 44.24%, and six deuce has 44.04%. Wow. Both and the Yeah. Abby Poker, away from the table, but and six four of hearts is technically 0.2% favorite. Doing no a little bit of computer work on the phone. Does that even count? Drew collects it without a flop. <laughs> Get a different calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Run it twice. Run it again. <laughs> it's funny for HV to be talking the math just now in that spot because he we got in a hand in the 1-3 in the PLO the other day and he was trying to figure out his pot odds. And he said it was close 
and I was like just agreeing with him and then believing him and then we went back in the math and it was so off and his pot odds were not even close to calling off. <laughs> Yeah, HV's tried to rebrand as Computer HV in recent weeks. Not always working out. You call him Houston Rack? Yeah. Let's do another software. Ace Wheel for the Cowboy. It might be fake. And a quick three bet to 125. King Jack we didn't see what in we the hijack. Right I'm going to see it on the stream. Might have been on slickrick.com. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Hand throw you through, right? Yep. Worst Jack, but is Lucky suited and in position for the Lion. Because Nick no, game, like still on. Dead, so it's different. True, yeah. So, uh, true, true, true. So how true. Especially in this hand. Does, Two out of three, three players currently on, on stream, right? yes, they do. Yeah. holding that nip button. And now we go heads up. Knit on knit action. <laughs> so confident you were like, oh, it's 55 I guarantee you on the stream would be different. 55 favorite. He really thought 55 favorite? No, it's that high. Yeah. And then, and then like, what a flop here. <laughs> Both players with gut shots to Broadway, but a poker line with four fifths of a royal. <laughs> that king of hearts is live in the deck still. <laughs> oh, yeah, but production needs to do get that. Actually, let me get the 100. I'll give you some of that. Oh, my bad. And sounds like Poker Line is asking for a rabbit. I guarantee you on the stream, it's going to be mm, yeah, I want to see. different numbers. Sure. Wow, what a good flop. Royal. For the royal achievement. Flush does get there. Not the royal flush. Did the button move? My big blank. I think we're heads up now in the Nick game. Adam Rude in seat two and Bobby Filet in seat five. There might be one over in the nine seat. Oh, you, yeah. We will quickly see as this get camera gets its way around the table. The regular kind. But yeah, this is when the pressure definitely gets added. I've played a couple of these Nick games on stream before, but so have you. Do you open your range up when it gets down to three or four people left? How do you feel? How does, you, how does your game change? I think I'll just take the L, especially in this one where it's $15. It's 120 splash pot. It's not as big of a deal. Um... But, yeah, you never Lock want to up. pay that $200 tax. <laughs> but at the same time, you can obviously lose a lot more than that by trying to get out of line and get rid of your nip button. Sometimes it's better to just take the L and accept it. Right. Rude poker, accepting... The open ender and getting rid of the nip button. With a small continuation there on the flop. I'll take it. How come the heart doesn't come this time? That is weird. Yeah. And then there were two. Yeah. Oh, you you are a heads up with. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it's not him. Oh, he's the second oh. one to get rid of that bunker. Sorry, they weren't stacked. I had to, I had to four bet king nine to get my rid of mine. Yeah. You proud of oh, that? Oh yeah. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, I had Only you dead against you. I had you dead. Did you actually? I pull ace king. No, you didn't. Get out of here. <laughs> ace king. Get out of here, bro. That's the production. Man. Good fold. Check the stream. Check the stream. <laughs> Good fold. I just thought you had aces. Damn, bro. I am usually heads up. 
<laughs> oh, cap. Now you're showing off. Sometimes you get lucky, though. You know? Yeah. I will say when your head's up queen, with queen the knit button, you should at least try to defend. I don't think you should just insta fold, but that is just me. Wow. You dog, one of the last two in the heads up knit game. Popping it up to 35, a6 offsuit in the cutoff. Not the worst hand selection to do it with. Tish though in the small blind with king queen offsuit, three betting. Good candidate to three bet with. Uke dog making a stand, trying to get rid of his knit bun, maybe make some extra money on the side. Does have the best hand as of right now. Who are you rooting for? <laughs> Flop, however, queen high, two spades. Uke dog does have backdoor running spades, but it's going to be hard for him to get there with Tish money betting with top pair. Uke dog does decide to make the call. Probably will reevaluate a turn. That's not the turn he was looking for. Ten of diamonds. I don't think Tish will give up the betting lead. Chooses to go for a pretty large sizing. He's stealing again. Oh my god, bro. <coughs> Five fifty. Basically, pot size bet. Pretty sizable. Three bet machine now to steal. Bad flop. Bad bad pre flop. Bad everything. Should have waited to see the river. Could have got better. I had back doors. I had back doors. What can I make it? Thirty. Back doors on the turn. Back doors on the flop. <laughs> no back doors. Can, can do. Yeah, I'll go 30. Yeah. Queen. Mr. Lion. <laughs> I have nightmares of these. I don't even put, I don't even put, I don't even put a six on. <laughs> Sick angle. I beg everybody. Right, one on 60, I don't even put a, I don't even put a six on. We went like 1,200 once. Really? One three. Really? Wow. It's a big one three game. One three, one eighty. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they go here. Yeah. There we go with the straddle, restraddle, and restraddle. I'm sorry. I think the seventh place. Yeah. Probably only he saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Old HV definitely would have played that hand. Nine seven offsuit. Computer HV is a new pit. person, <laughs> and uh, this is one of those elements of the Nick game. For the stream, straddles are on, and uh, just ripping it in with Ace Jack in order to get rid of the Nick button. Let me think. Let him go. How much is it? One. Bobby, that does. Really the Bobby, yeah. Bobby's got to show both. Oh, I keep the nip button. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh no. Wow. The game is still on. <laughs> <laughs> Only showed one after jamming 1600. Oh, <laughs> got to show easy. both Let's in order go. to get rid of the nip button. I was ready to pass. And like, cards are already in the muck <laughs> as we look at the PFR. Pretty active, pretty <laughs> aggressive table so far. Tish Money, Cowboy Rick, and Bet on Drew leading the way here. All over 25% with their P PFR. No shocker there. And the most important thing, the leaderboard, HV. Up on top after doubling through Slick Rick. Slick Rick now only up 380. A bit poetic that the two heads up are the most down with the, sorry, the two with the knit buttons left are the most down. And they still have to go at it just to see who's not going to lose that knit game. Deciding to take a different route and not jam with King-9 suited this time. 
30. And Uke Dog actually has a big hand. This will be super interesting to see if they're able to get heads up in this last hand. Oh, and Abby waking up with pocket queens. Yeah, and this is truly the dream spot of the Nick game. Two people, heads up, trying to get rid of their knit buttons, and you have a monster. You know you're going to get action from at least one of these knits. I'm convinced after yesterday's stream that Abby just runs good. <laughs> Guess we'll find out later. A dream spot. <laughs> Abby just has to assume that Yuke is trying to get rid of his knit button. He probably has some type of hand, but not as strong as Queens, of course. We're better than that, so. And usually the pocket kings are the ace magnets. It might be queens this time. She does raise to a thousand. <laughs> Remember, this is a 1 3 stream in Texas. If you guys want this type of action, just come down to Champions here Six, every four, day. 4 0 West Sam Houston Parkway. Super sick, 2K effective stacks. All right, here we go, all in. And of course. Okay, I'm live. I love it. If I do twice, top board. Top board, sure, twice, yeah, twice is good. So it sounds like we're gonna do two full boards and right, the natural board, the top board, determines if Uke Dog will get rid of his knit button or not. You can have the bottom board. Whatever fits. Yeah, you haven't lost yet, dude. <laughs> Diamonds working for you, dog, as well. I had a feeling you had a good hand, but can't fold one. Yeah. <laughs> Not after that, actually. Whatever you want. This is a stressful one. Yeah. I have a weird feeling about that. They're very ahead, so. Relax. Easy, easy. Easy now. Hearts are hot. That's not mine. No help for Uke Dog here on the first flop. Thank you, Rude. I appreciate it. And spoiler alert two of the aces are dead in the deck. Burning one of his diamonds on this first board needs to hit that ace of spades, and only the ace of spades does not. Nick Game is still on. I don't, I don't care about the bottom board. The bottom board's whatever now. Well, you want the Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rooting for Yuke Dog for the, the rest of the stream. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, no. oh, Case oh, ace is always a sweat. Three oh, spades, spades on board, and Abby with the queen of spades. It's a lot of outs left. Maybe it's a case of too many outs. Oh my. Oh, that, that was, <laughs> <laughs> Dog with the lead still. One card to come. Might see a chop pot here. All right, nice and we do. Rooting for him. All right, I still got my all, all that for <laughs> Makes $57 still in the knit game. But he doesn't lose. Six spot there. Yes. I like how Abby's a bit stressed. Going into the the flop as they sweat it out, and she's just in a dream spot. Doesn't even have the nick button anymore. Oh, Fifty bucks. Yep. True, could be worse. Welcome to Texas, guys. Running it twice. So Bobby Filet <laughs> also wins in that pot. Of course. Because the nick game is still on. If you get it all in, are you still running it one time? Either Bobby or Uke Dog will end up losing this nick game here pretty soon. Price of it being <laughs> 120. <laughs> never. I've never seen I'll pay it out you in the form of a the splash the pot immediately was, following the end of the night game. He was a nice guy. He was always nice. I don't want him to get Guy just rips in. Uh -huh. The guy rips in. I didn't want him to get a hard attack. 1.5k with. <laughs> I didn't want him to get a hard attack. He limb jammed. He limbed lim 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 in 60. Yeah, 1400. I almost pulled kings. Yeah. What do you have? You had queen. Deuces once again for the poker lion. Yes, 
Only if it's like, it has to be tasteful. Folds around to the button. Abby, I'm officially chili. You're what? I'm officially chili. That's what I like to hear. Now we can unionize. It took okay. a minute, but I'm officially on the chili side. <laughs> <laughs> East Deuce defending against Deuce Deuce. I mean, not a lot. Two inches every, maybe twice a season. Shuts down the city. Super daycare is closed for no reason. I've been in Nashville once. What other what what are like some good things to do in Nashville if I ever find myself well, there again? Most people go for the live music downtown. Yeah, and the bar scene. <coughs> yeah, the Broadway super it was popular. Packed, like like literally rooftop oh, bars. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't see an opening because no, there's they're, many people. To yeah, place. they're crazy down there on Broadway, <laughs> the Mumbrian, and Second Avenue. Yeah. They're packed. It wasn't it wasn't too. Bad. <coughs> we have the first Titans, of course. You have a ton of sports here, so it's not a big deal, you guys. Mm -hmm. Give me Queens this time. <laughs> we'll run it twice. Uh, okay. You, okay. Get the top one. Oh, okay. Sure. That's all I, I, I flew here. Yeah. I had to be at the airport at like 7 something in the morning, and there was already <laughs> at the bar there. Yeah. A dude just playing okay. for like three people. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I love that. I wish, yeah. I wish there was more like just random people playing music. Double straddle is on. Into offsuit, Ace King, first to act. <laughs> Domination situation brewing. Ace King versus a suited Ace Queen. Ace Queen, the three better. Fives shrink and fold. Wait for that hand. All aces have been seen. If I do anything, you understand. Again, Battle of the Frog. Battle of the Cowboys. And a click back to four hundred by Abby here. Just call. Three cards to come. Oh, oh Kaido. Kaido, hi, Kaido. <laughs> go. Connected rainbow here. In a four bet pot, neither player is supposed to be connected with it. Continuation takes it down. I love that spot. Both players have basically nothing, ace high, and you never have to go really big as a pre flop aggressor in that spot. Yeah. 350, 250 also works. And she easily takes it down. Nice $400 going her way. Yeah, Tish likely reading the situation for what it was. Could be dominated or up against an overpair on that type of flop. Oh my god, look at all these fucking titans over there. Oh my god. They've released them. I don't mind being behind with the hand. I just don't want to have to call 400. I'm sorry. There's a swarm. But now you can't. You have 500 more left. Bingo. <laughs> nine, and those ones squeak loud. I know, I did it. Folds around to one of my favorite hands. <laughs> Isn't it right Seven deuce. Who yelled at you? Look at it. Well, yell that is a, a nice term. No, it's like a, Rick and doing term. what you should <laughs> do with <laughs> it. I yelled at my Raising things up. No, it was not yell. That's why I said it was too harsh of a term. It's my fault. Look, there, gets there, a couple callers behind. 
I love how Yug Dog defends because Bobby defends. So we have the two nits in the mix. Too much juice. And Yug Dog catches a piece, but no good kicker. Both nits have a bit of something. Poker line best with it right now. Bobby has a gutter ball to the straight flush, actually, with his flush draw, if it wasn't good enough already. And uh, if you watched Bobby Filet's first trip to Champions, his first stream here, he did hit two straight flushes in the same stream. Set to do it again, probably. And let's see some action here. <laughs> I like the check raise by Poker Lion. I used to play the flute. No, no, sport. Getting value and information at the same time. Just a really weird rough spot when both of the nits call. They can have a lot of two pairs, flush draws, whatever it might be. You're never really liking it now after getting called in two spots. A lot of the time you do have to assume your hand's good, but you just never know at this point. Uh, it's what I started with. Okay. And then you just kind of ride that wave until... Overcard to the jack, rolls off, and now the presence of two flush draws on board. <laughs> he does decide to check, which I do agree with after getting called by both of them. Yeah. And it checks through surprisingly. I think everyone wants to get to the river. Okay. But you live here now, though, I thought. I do live here now. Here it's more of like... Jack-10 hold, so you just can't put anyone on a King X. I don't mind the check. I wouldn't mind a type of blocker bet. But he does have pretty good showdown value, and he'll take it down. And the Nick game continues. Yeah, poker line. Electing to go check call there. It would have been interesting to see Bobby make a move on the turn after it checks to him. Can I get a couple of water? When uh, the lion there checks that turn, uh, sure, yeah. you can't reasonably assume he has a set or two pair, given that he just gives up the betting lead. So <laughs> it would have been super interesting yeah. for Bobby to just oh, shit, rip it or just go super that. big with how much equity he had. Probably, yeah. I'm betting too much there. Almost time for the next one. They're still doing the first. I don't think yeah, I have it. Run it back. I don't think there's any way to win that hand. Usually, how we do it, the person who loses in <laughs> a game gets to choose whenever the next one starts. Yeah. I, I like that. Like, I don't think I can win that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this goddamn Nick game next time. Just so you know. But but in the next no, exactly. dealer change that. I don't. I don't have it. The next dealer. Oh, then it. Then it. Then it oh, the no, goalpost on okay. King six of nine. <laughs> You could have like a king diamond, I guess, but you're not gonna like vomit in. I guess it depends on what side. Four wins seventy five. Five four. Five four. Seven four. I guess she doesn't play these. Let me draw. He's king again for Abby. Diamonds aren't coming. I just want to let everybody know that early. She chooses to go for a really big sizing. I think it's so she doesn't have to go post flop with uh, Slick Rick. I guess Cowboy Rick, but of course he calls. He does have two cards. And uh, you trying to get rid of his knit bun. Super interesting dynamic. Always love the Nick game because of it. And uh, you dog flops best. Somehow we still find a diamond. Definitely weird stack to pot ratio for you dog. With Abby checking, her hand feels pretty face up aside from trapping over pairs. And Rig might pounce on this opportunity given that it went check, check. Why did I do that? I probably won't watch it. 
people that he does do exactly that 600 into 1350 I was really rooting for you dog to rip it there it's it's definitely rough but if you're gonna play a hand like that with the knit button it's it's really hard for to ask for a perfect flop for yourself you need literally straight cards or two pair if you're gonna decide to play that call the 400 pre-flop then this might be a hand to just rip it with donk donk jam of course you're always getting called by better but you shouldn't really put yourself in the spot post flop if you're not willing to just get it in when you're calling with the nit button, right? So, and then now Abby tanking with ace king, ace high. If she's able to call this off against Rick on every street or just rip it on him, uh, hats off to her. The battle of the cowboy hats. <laughs> the longer she does think through this, though the more likely she is to face additional pressure on future streets. I, I do wonder because of that if she's contemplating a jam. The problem is, yeah, she does fold. The problem is if you have ace-king and Rick's betting here, he does have a lot of weird jack X's, nine X's, given that he can call with any two cards. So you never want to make that jam and just be wrong, get snapped off. <laughs> and of course, she wants to know what he had right there. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say I have no comments. You sweated with him, didn't you? I did, but I'm not. I'm gonna say it. Fine, I'm telling him what I had. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I know. Rough. That's a rough one. <laughs> And he was punting probably too. <laughs> there are a lot of punchable hands on that board, but I don't know. Like, what can you do? He also had some fucking trash. He probably had like a seven, and it was good. Yeah. <laughs> he probably, this dude probably had like a six and thought he was bluffing. Literally. That was, that was <laughs> Even when we watched his game, I was like, haha, I got that. <laughs> He's queen for rude poker here. Up. I know you know Suited what gapper, is. blind uh -huh. call. Sorry, blind, blind three raise. Bet. Yep. <laughs> Drew doing Drew things. And oh man, and we had two snap folds with pocket pairs. I hope they knew that Drew just three bet blind because Tish just folded nines and Lion just folded sevens. Given that they couldn't have known that this was coming, but very quick folds. If they knew that Drew just blind three bet there. So you were real loose that hand. Right. I ain't gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing after this. Did he, did he, close, did he close the actual P flop? No. Uh, no, he was middle. Because he, he, I raised, he three bet me, he called, and then I four bet, and then he I called, and I four bet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just calling for the net button. I flopped. <laughs> was it my board? You're top there. No, I flopped the set. <laughs> he flopped the set. Yeah. Yeah. Rick obviously lying, but <laughs> very similar board right. to the previous one. <laughs> Drew flops best in this one. Yeah, Will he be able to call <laughs> off? <laughs> thank you, Slick. Thank you, thank you. What's up? I think about jamming with bottom pair there. Really? <laughs> yeah, so it's like. Oh. I was okay, gonna get a snap call yes, you you should have uh, jammed with bottom <laughs> pair there. Talking it back now. Likely would have worked. <laughs> oh, worse, worse hand. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's just a mystery. Probably a worse hand for sure. <laughs> yeah, and this is another one of those spots similar to a uh, yuke dog what we're just talking about if you're going to play the 75 and call it off aggressively <laughs> pre flop wow. if you connect you really got to continue and drew getting rewarded for it turns more equity open ended with his pair he's definitely not folding now yeah oh and rude poker does put all of his chips in the middle 
and at risk. I love the jam. I love the play. Tell me, tell me. I'll tell you one of my cards. You tell me one of his. Just rough when Drew actually has a type of hand like he does here where he actually can call off. Even against over pairs, you don't hate it. Just the price is kind of hefty. Yeah, this is exactly what Rude Poker is <laughs> repping here. Oh, oh, over pair. And then uh, I think. Uh, Whoa! Yeah, the, don't tell him. The no, no. Shenanigans. <laughs> Surprising for Drew to say that, that he has to do math. That's I wonder great. how much math he did yesterday in the stream. <laughs> well, if he did any, it worked out. Especially if he only did the numbers on how much he won. If he can give Rude reasonable bluffs in this spot, his odds to call are obviously really good. As we can see here, with 86%, it's a snap call, obviously, as we in the audience can see the cards. But if you're putting him on over pairs, you do have to get closer to, you know, 2-1, to one, right? It's just rough. Does make the fold. Good jam by Rude. Love that jam. Love HV. I love that question there. Only one Nick game tonight. Because this Nick game is going for quite a few hands. I feel bad because I think Yuke's really trying to get rid of it, but he's just never in a spot where he can actually find a winning hand or just bluff. I don't think Bobby's really played a hand since their heads up when they were in the Nick game and also when he had the ace jack and didn't show both cards. Looking to get in the mix here with ace four offsuit. You dog thinking of the three bet and he does king nine offsuit. Definitely not a hand you want to play, but you do have button and the knit button, so you do have to take the aggro route. Gets called by both players. Uh, no one really hits anything yeah. at all, so. Queen high rainbow. Yep. The aggression should do the trick, but I'm not sure if Bobby wants to fold given that they're both heads up in the knit game. He might think that ace high is good. No. If Drew does not defend here with his backdoor diamonds, then looks like the knit game will be over. <laughs> Drew looking like he's thinking about it because he knows that the knit game is heads up. Little smirk from Drew, knowing what's going on, <laughs> does in fact make the call. High you be playing, poker. playing defense for Bobby Fillet. And there it is, a lot of turns that could help improve 
that ace eight now open ended and still the best high card. Gut shot doesn't fill in for Uke Dog. Ace high gets the check mark. Best of it <laughs> goes 350 yeah, into 680. Bluff's not going through there. It's only 135. Bluff's not going through there. Can't try to lose more. No bluff. No bluff is going through. It's still going. I cannot believe it. I do feel bad as you seems to be bleeding a lot more than just 120 from the knit game splash pot tax by playing all these hands and trying to get rid of his knit bun. But I do commend him for the spirit of the game and playing because so far he's showing that he definitely is not a nit. One three fifty guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Texas. I'm starting this hand with thirty you big lines. I'm, I'm starting this hand with twenty big lines. Yeah. Wow. Sick game. You don't know how to play. I don't know how to play freaking low uh, lines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Those are the two players heads up in the nick game. Everybody else in the green, some more so than others. Up over 1100 for HV and Slick Rick quietly crawling back into the lead. He was up over 2200 at one point, but then doubled HV. Fish money. Always get there. Always, always getting there. Plenty of stream to go here. Do you know what the <laughs> longest so knit game has been on the stream? This one is getting up there for sure. I believe we threw the knit game on maybe around the third orbit and hand 49 currently. So. Oh, I like this three bet. He's deciding to go a lot larger will likely get more folds pre-flop. He's been three betting relatively normal sizings, which hasn't been working against the people that have been defending with the knit game and uh, against other people that cold call pre-flop. So. And, and he right. gets rid of it. <clears throat> Definitely Nick, like that sizing. Knit game over. Bobby Fillet will be paying the 120 to the middle. That is dead money added to the next pot here. But Bobby will have a shot at it back. And so does everybody else. Mayhem in chat asking if I've ever heard of Phenom Poker. I have seen quite a few ambassadors pop up here and there it definitely is a newer idea or newer company and yes abby poker in the nine seat is affiliated i think uh seti who was uh in fourth in the main here at champions yeah. is also affiliated with venom poker Phenom, Phenom yeah. poker. so expect more to come out from them i'm sure and if you aren't already following, that is Abby Poker on Instagram. I'm sure she'll be posting more about that in the coming weeks. Splashes on, that's that extra 120 in the middle next to the flop. It's good that he caught himself because I made that same mistake yesterday. I forgot the splash pot was on and I made a race of 30 and got called by, I think, six people. Yep. Definitely and, have yeah. to adjust the sizing and because of all that. Oh my god, that's a good call, whoever did that. Bobby Filet is a man. <laughs> Do I like creme brulee? Of course. Really? Hard to tell with you because you don't like chicken feet, you like mint ice cream, so it's really hard to gauge like what you do. <laughs> I don't know that I don't like chicken feet. I'm scared to try it because I'm a wussy pants. Yeah. Mint chocolate chip is the best ice cream. It's got everything ice cream should have. Ice cream, mint chocolate. Toothpaste, yeah. <laughs> you should try it. I feel like you Did might you make like it or something? It. No, but I feel I like you might like it, you know? And then Have a good one, yeah. yeah. I don't plan on eating anything until I go to Foo Foo. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. Tish Money wakes up with a hand. Bobby Filet trying to get his money back from the splash pot and wakes up with the top pair on this board. Does race at 3.30. Might get some more money back on top of his splash pot rebate. Jams and can Bobby Filet find the call? Snap call. Good call, Bobby. Might win more on top of your <laughs> splash pot rebate in this one. One time Max Payne, Tish Money knows he's behind. This time, three outs from what we can see on the graphics. Tish Money, no club in hand. Bobby Filet with the ten of clubs. And holds. Oh, that's really good. Rebate <laughs> with interest, we call it. Gets right, twice. his knit <laughs> penalty back. 
and a full double. I thought you had two clubs there. He doesn't get clubs. Another look at the leaderboard here after that double up. Tish dropping to 1K deficit here. Bobby Filet closer to even. No change for the other players really since the last time we saw this just two hands ago. Expect some of the action to pick up as it usually does throughout the stream. Once players get stuck and the more we play these Nick games, the more likely we are to see larger and larger action. Especially too, because it is match the stack. Players get deep. More likely to increase their sizings and frequency on their three bets, four bets, and more. Anyone want one? There's only four. You need that. I mean, it's just on your hands. I don't mind it. I'm usually too hot. Yeah. But like, I mean, there's ways to like avoid the hand as well. What? Bobby Fo to SG Ray? Chat, of course, loving the double up of Bobby Filet, the hero of chat. I like my hand <laughs> He wanted the full three. <laughs> Need to get the VP up. Oh, yeah. Both players connecting here. And now triple aces for HV and gets the check mark. Acts like he's looking at his cards, <laughs> but just bets out small instead. <laughs> I like your nail polish color. Click, 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 click. Yeah, it's quite stylish. Is the queen good? I'm pair aces. Me too. With a queen kicker. <laughs> Very interesting. 75. HV filling up here. And because there's two aces on board, plus it's HV, Drew thinking it's less likely that HV is actually holding one of those red aces. Is this a new improved uh, HV with the min click? Oh, max value by min clicking. Yeah, they were clicking back and forth, just having some fun on the turn as well. So it definitely is effective on the river again. Getting trips. <laughs> what are you thinking, Rick? Is that the maximum nice, I can nice get? Boat, nice boat. For sure. For sure. Nice boat. Maybe you get a little bit more. I'll give you 10 more on the turn if you click it to 30. <laughs> River, you could have gone 155, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> we all make mistakes. Why you keep laughing, bro? Some hands Come on, it's, it's bad, yourself. right? Tell me I'm just playing bad. No, I didn't see There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Bobby Filet from the past is in the chat. Must be taking a quick break from the table. Subconsciously, but the entire stream, I'm like. We do always come at you live with delay here. I have contact, so if I put water in it, my eyes will get really dry. Delay will vary slightly from stream to stream. We try to get things started for the players at 6 p.m. Central. 
should I keep dropping the mic? In typical poker fashion, some players oh, arrive late. Okay. We're playing with you, man. Don't mind us, we'll be back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where the bathroom is. I need <laughs> playing no hands. Ace Jack flopping best here. Top top. Backdoor spades. An opportunity for rude poker. Three sixty out there and Bobby Flay bet six. I'm interested for six. Sizing up after the six dollar flop bet to 225 and gets a quick fold. More Bobby Filet fans entering the chat. Good to see you back, Logan. <laughs> So that was hand 52 of the night. Getting confirmation now that we will do the first of two drawings, our giveaways for the swag bag and merch of your choice on hand number 62 of the night. Be sure to stick around for that. Suited connector for Tish now. Raises to 15, and things are folding around into the blinds. 15? Mm -hmm. I want to get a blind. blind and we see a straddle defense yeah. by King 9 of Uke Dog. That is disturbing. <laughs> Gut shot for Uke Dog. And bottom pair for Tish. Yeah, very hot. Tish does continue. As soon as I turn that thing up, it's like no air. Hey, are you blaming me? <laughs> well, it's good like this for a minute, but then you're gonna yeah. start back up. It's gonna be really cold when you start back up. Just put on a rotation. They turn it on every other Really time. like that raise right. by Yuke Dog. Really super cold. Very cold. Taking things down without a pair. Just hopes and dreams. Gone? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have liked <laughs> Good question yeah. by Chad on About the giveaways the there. So this giveaway actually was from yesterday, our creator stream. We were trying to hit some certain numbers on subscribers. Did not hit certain numbers, but wanted to give away something for everybody's support anyways and so the only thing required was just you tune in yesterday subscribe and interact in chat and uh, now we're going to be selecting two people tonight that qualify again that's coming up hand 62 and I'm not sure when the second one will be I'll get word of that as the night progresses. And then yeah, we will just get in contact with whoever wins and we can ship things out as well. King high flop here, two diamonds. Abby still in the lead with eights. Bobby 
looking for one of those eights. Or queen, double gutted, but the aggression takes it down. No resistance. Bobby getting there with queen seven on the turn. thinking this one through. Fold. And does elect to fold here. All right, new game? Sure. All righty. <laughs> there we have it. Yeehaw. Tish doing Tish things, asking to throw the Nick game back on. It's been a couple hands since we've played the Nick game, so might as well play it again. Typically get it played <laughs> three or four times a night, depending on how long those net games run. And it did have a very good question in chat by Vibliss. How do you get on stream coming in from NYC? We do have quite a few people from out of town and in town that would love to play on stream here. So, relatively simple process. There is a Google form linked in our YouTube description box. I also put it into the chat. Fill that out. Gives us your contact info. The game type and the stakes that you want to play here on stream. And then Ed Batinga will get in contact with you. And does take quite a bit to put these great lineups together and they definitely are in high demand as well so it can be a couple weeks potentially before you get a shot but ed will explain that and more answer any questions you have once he gets in contact with you good example of that is uke dog reached out probably over a month ago and this is the first opportunity that he had to get on stream here tonight. Seems like he's been having fun with it despite being stuck. Does have plenty of time to turn it back around. Easy game. 10 9 out flopping the snowman of Tish. 
and Drew. First to be marked safe in this net game. I guess continuation on playing on stream and explaining kind of the behind the scenes info on that. Always recommend that players bring multiple bullets. Everybody here on the 1 3 buying in for the max. 1K buy in. Min buy in for this stream is 800. So essentially, for any 1 3 player, we want them to bring 1600 or more. It is a five hour stream, so ideally you play through the entire five hours. And typically, a lot of the players will play post stream as well, or even before the stream too, out on the floor. Great action out on the floor, always here at Champions in Houston, Texas. Getting things heads up is the three bet. Queen 10 dominated pre flop. Flops open ended. Queen Jack still in the lead though, connecting with middle pair. No change turn. Wouldn't be surprised if you see some chips hit the middle a little bit now. Slick Rick electing to check, but checks to you twice. You got to start putting some chips in. Yuke Dog feeling better about his jack now. Like, we'll Slick Rick would be ha <laughs> have to be really trapping things. He's going to 3-bet pre-flop and then not continue on an ace-high board. But what a monstrous check raise by Slick Rick. Asking for all of it. Huke Dog shaking his head. Why did I ask to play on this stream? And Slick Rick is actually the reason he found this stream in the first place. Huke Dog properly assessing the situation and really questioning what what could Rick have here that checks flop in a three bit pot and then check jams turn and like you said just there he feels like he's good you are good of course the river can change things but I'll take your hand with what's out there you had a set <laughs> 
as he thinks about it, that's really all it can be. Sets, that check flop, check turn, check raise jam turn, rather. So it really has to be nines, jacks, aces, or nothing. Probably good and then. you block jacks. Like Rick almost talking him into the call here. I'm checking twice. Should I set the trap? Clearly. I wonder if that oh. comment leans him to a call because a lot of the time when people say that they have they have a hand even though they don't have a set. A lot of the time they'll have two pair or some type of made decent hand. In this case, obviously Rick only has open ended, but really hard hats off to you dog for being able to think this through makes the correct call let's go you dog two rivers coming you dog in the lead that's Gets a there really again. good river card if he was behind Holds on both. A double up that Uke Dog needed, and he won't have to worry about getting heads up in this Nick game. He's getting One rid of the button <laughs> right now. My right, next round's on me, Flex. <laughs> Great call by Uke Dog, making his stream debut here. Climbing out of the hole. Got a little more work to do, but closer to even now. Again, all these players buying in for a thousand here tonight. One player up over a thousand, two players down over a thousand. Plenty of knit action left. All those yellow dots indicate those players have a knit button. Have to show down a winning hand in order to get rid of the knit button. Last person to do so will pay 120 to the middle. Yeah, good. Oh, good. I thought you said dead. I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm good. Okay. That, makes, that does make sense. Exciting. Very exciting hand. Yeah, screw that again. Yes. I have a set. Yes. No, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> No. You'd say, like, I could have a set. Yeah. No. no set, no bet. He didn't bet until he check jammed it in. <laughs> Mothers are mad at him. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed that those bat ones don't let you go with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nine over nine. Wait a minute. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like half the percent. Nine seven versus seven six. Both players missing. Tish with the power of position continues on the flop and it gets rid of the nip button. I think I'm down a K. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't talk about that. You use all his one good, that's why. I use all of it. There's no bomb pot in this table, team. I know. There's no bomb pot, too, that can't win. I took like a two month break from them too. Especially in the big games, in that bigger game. I mean, when they do in 25, yeah. You do. 
<laughs> Imagine eight, nine people, two twenty five pockets. Especially if like, if like Matt and Caleb are in there, because then they like have to wait for the best. They play them too well. Don't draw. Just have it every time. Just have it. That is easy when they have when you just have it. Yeah. <laughs> right, Gio? Yeah. <laughs> you do you agree with me. You'd agree with me on that one. <laughs> Yep. Suited Ace King in the hijack <laughs> for Abby. <laughs> Fours on the button for Rude Poker. And aces for the guy that's been getting out of line, putting max pressure on everybody. Real hand alert. It's going to be trouble here for Abby. Definitely going to be interested in this spot. Rick and Abby both had their nip buttons. Rick kind of been getting out of line. Oh, and look what happens here. Bobby Filet decides to just get out of line in this spot with the worst of it. It'll be interesting to see what Abby does with Ace King if she decides to rip it. Uh, she didn't really have many spots where she had Ace King yesterday where she had to be put into tough decisions like this. So we'll see what course of action she decides to go with. The four bet sizing from Bobby is pretty sizable already. 455, you have 1900 behind. Congratulations. With the three bet from Rick, it just feels like a jam a lot of the times, but. Do you have a beard? There it is. Rick is just salivating at this spot. Rude. I've been waking up with pocket pairs. <laughs> and of course says it. Making sure they're not aces and just fours. Makes a fold. Rick double checking now that he has aces. A little bit of Hollywood probably before ripping it in. Trying to get Bobby to call off. Yeah, you want the four better to get in there too. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I'll be darned. And now Bobby's got really to think. Damn, I really stepped in this. Posture a little bit. Look back at it. That's really what I four bet with and get out of the way. There were a lot of uh, ace king versus aces spots as of yesterday and today. Just really gross spots, especially in these deep one threes when we're four betting so large already. You're going to have to commit your stack a lot of the time. No wonder I'm getting no ace I'll take the first one. I'm going over there. Not really much you can do. Standard, standard sizings and spots. Especially when Bobby four bets there, it's just really tough to get away from Ace King at that point. King does connect. I'm gonna need to find another one. King of Diamonds would be a fun sweat. Oh. Oh, no, wait, 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 don't oh, sorry, 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 don't want to do that. I always <laughs> love asking for these spots. <laughs> Does not want to see another diamond. <laughs> the Ace of Diamonds working for Cowboy Rick. And it's going to be a chop, unless hearts or Broadway. Yeah, we did see a lot of dead hearts mucked pre-flop. That's One heart on board. You know a heart's coming. Always. No heart, no king. That's what a actually only one king. Four hearts. Five or six. Right, First sweat. Nice. <laughs> gonna and be a chop. Yeah, chop it up. Put another king. Five or six, and then another five or six river for the quarter. <laughs> Most importantly, you got rid of your button. That is pretty <laughs> sick, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Abby <laughs> does get rid of <laughs> her knit button with the worst hand, yeah, and Rick must continue playing the knit game. <laughs> and no they actually <laughs> both <laughs> chop up. No good. Five hundred dollars. 
Dream spot. Ace is with the ace. That four bet <laughs> by the Jack three working out in their favor. We're like, oop. I said it earlier. Abby does run good. Bailed <laughs> out with the trip kings. <laughs> Ace is not really holding tonight. <laughs> Saw them get cracked earlier, and uh, Chop Pot might as well call that cracked again. Rick had them two times where they got cracked, right? Yeah. Ace is not the best hand. <laughs> Yeah, aces cracked last night for Slick Rick, and again here tonight, earlier, it was Drew that was on the bad side of his aces not holding. He definitely will. We were, we were very close. You only win by 0.2%, buddy. You only ahead by 0.2%. Oh, no, me. I wasn't put it, I put it in good. Computer. HV with math once again. Yeah, it's probably bad math once again. But seven deuce in position. I can't be mad about that. Thank you for playing this properly. Raising to 60 with it. How poetic with 27% equity. It just works out. Little mirror. And seven deuce not looking as good right now. Ace 10, four betting out of the small blind. <laughs> he said cooler. Absolute cooler. Ace 10 versus 7 deuce. Classic flip. Getting closer and closer to that <laughs> giveaway, <laughs> the first of two. <laughs> Winner wins a swag bag and merch of their choice. Once that winner gets randomly selected, please. Damn, we'll provide an email for you to reach out to. So we'll have you go through a quick verification process, and then we will either send out or give you some instructions on how to pick up your swag bag. Yeah, right? It's always like the weird way. Yep. A giveaway following our content creator stream last night, where some of these players on stream and Mr. Vodin vlogs in booth with me tonight. We're all playing some 5-5. Five five. Definitely recommend going back and watching that stream as well. Super action stream, super fun stream to watch. Yeah, that was probably one of the more enjoyable streams I've been on. Um, and I've been on a lot of them with just like good friends and good company, but it was uh, nice to play with some new faces and some some old faces as well, but it was just a great group of individuals. And yeah, it was just great action. If you if you didn't watch the stream, go back and watch it. Give it a like. Cause uh it was just fireworks right out the gate and fireworks all the way through the end. Banter. Yeah. I like to kick people on the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he rolls. 
feel like I'm going to fold this hand. Yep, I'm ready. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Are you going to kiss me tender? Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't start. It's an addiction for real. <laughs> Tournaments are crack. Have you come down yet? Uh, once you get that rushed once. Yeah. Rick, Rick was telling me to fold that hand and I don't have the courage to do it. <laughs> Maybe so I have the, the hand. Not surprised to see Poppy get in there with the octa crab, snow crab as we call it. But now facing a three bet. He says screw it, got position. And a fun hand to play. The hand plays differently. I give you that. Slick Rick, the only pair currently, but Uke Dog, plenty of equity still, had a gut shot to Broadway, now is open-ended to go along with it. Bobby also picks up a gutter to the dummy end, so he does have some form of equity. And with that equity, he does decide to make the call. Could be thinking about making a move on the river if he misses. Does have the nip button to go along with the dealer button. All three players seeing this queen roll off and pairing the board. Slick getting the check mark. <laughs> and here we see it. Bobby reaching for chips here. It's okay. I'll pay one, I'll pay one point. It is a lot of chips. Gets through the ace high holding. <laughs> and putting max pressure. On bottom pair. Doesn't make that much sense. And of course, Rick does sniff it out and says it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Five hundred into seven hundred. Do you think that's really value sizing there? It does feel like a queen would go with this sizing on the river, but the problem is there were no bets or action on the flop, and you have the knit button, which makes you lose a lot of credibility. So, I mean, Rick's just a sick player. I told myself going into the stream yesterday it was going to be tough, and I was going to try to avoid a lot of spots with him, um, which I was able to do thanks to card distribution for the most part, but he just puts you in tough spots, and he makes a lot of the right calls and right reads a lot of the time. Obviously, no player is perfect, and he's not going to always do it, but when you're as consistent as he is, it's, it's definitely scary putting, getting put into the spots. Yeah, and so here we have it. Time to select a winner. We were trying to get up over that 5,000 mark on our channel. Got pretty close last night. And so with that, we wanted to still give some merch away, swag bag nice drawing, nice call. Nice incoming, <laughs> this time is a nice call. as we have our dealer change. Again, randomly selected winner based off of subscription and chat engagement yesterday. You see some of the names there popping up on the screen. Lucky winner will get a swag bag and merch of their choice. They're going to be emailing Ed Batinga. That info will be dropped in the chat so they can redeem that. 
We'll be reaching out to them. Don't see my name up there, but not selfish enough for that. I've got plenty of merch already. I see Michael's name up there. Christopher's been active in chat tonight as well. Mayhem, Andrew Nolan. And this thing is just, keeps going. I feel like we're getting slow rolled right now. Food. Jess Richards in there as well. She was a guest commentator last night. Hibiscus Flower. Sheila in there. And yeah, we're getting slow rolled. Are you trying to justify the call to Bobby? <laughs> so am getting word now that we are going to have to do a Let's bit of a redraw one. here. Yeah. This first <laughs> giveaway not working for us, right now. but we will What's get things up? selected. <laughs> Production is going to get in contact with me and find a way for us to still find a winner and get in contact with them. So for right now, we can just look at this colorful screen. In the meantime, uh, the Champions Firecracker Friday hit 19,000. Wow. Only 12, 12K yeah. guarantee. So that guarantee is going to go up next week. As long as we're smashing the guarantees at Champions, the prize pool is just guarantees is just going to go up. So look forward to a bigger guarantee next week. If you're in town, fire the tournament. It's a great value. 150 buy-in, $100 rebuy, $100 add-on. And then tomorrow, Saturday, is a 25K guarantee. So the tournaments have been pretty, pretty sick here. Uh, PLO Thursday, which I would have played in if I wasn't on the stream. And then 12K Friday, Firecracker afternoon, 25K tomorrow at noon. Sunday, I don't I don't know if we have tournaments, but uh, Monday has been the mixed games, which has been super fun. It's a free consultation for a couple pairs. You know, like you guys fit the bill. It's almost like you don't know anything about each other. Um, Pasta God, what time does the action get going on the weekdays? There's usually one, two in the mornings. Yep. Starting 10 a.m. and then 1-3 if the game decides to change to a bigger game. But 1-3 usually throughout the entire day from noon to morning. And I'm usually in those 1-3 games throughout the day. Action's always good in the 1-3 for sure, especially if I'm at the table. I'm not as tight as I am as I was on the stream yesterday, so I definitely give action. Poker line, hoping to get action right now. Flopping trips yet again. But he's got the world and everybody else has Joe's nothing. Pocket queen. Wow. Oh, wow, hand. Yeah, and once again, apologize for the little mishap and technical dif difficulties on that drawing, that giveaway. Entries to it are closed at this point, but if you did subscribe and tune in last night for a content creator stream, if you engaged in the chat, you were entered into that drawing. We have all of that data saved. We have all of your names saved for that giveaway. We will work out a way to get that done here tonight. I'm told by hand 75, 11 more hands, we will have an announcement on the first of two winners for that giveaway. And definitely plan on doing more giveaways in the future. Not going to exclude anybody from subscribing early. So if you aren't already, hit that subscribe and like button while you're at it. I'm getting a migraine. Adjustment type right. to make. Here. Low variance. The Maybe the lights, potentially. Yeah. And it's kind of coming right at you. Yeah, but I have this nice hat. Best hand. Change you. Tilt it down. Outflopped. Huh? The deuces. Now behind the king jack here. Surprise Tish Money didn't decide to bet that flop, I guess. HV just has a lot of 10Xs or some weird type of hand or set mining, but... Now HV, after being checked to, decides to bet.
maybe underrepresenting his hand a bit with King Jack and on the river to pair if it wasn't good enough already. Once again, checking, I think inducing a bluff from HV given that HV still has the knit button. But he correctly checks back and Tish will take this one down. Snap folding, not just folding. Just us three. <laughs> Shove it in my face, I fold. Yeah. I'll put on the six. Oh. There's two, right? Get that aligned out. You shot? You fold? I think I fold there. P, but I can't because of the hit button. This now you definitely. That's how I felt. Oh, I felt that last. last you definitely time, can't yeah. see right now. No, I sure can't. I guess mine was more intense. Like the stream was almost over, and I was only there for like an hour and a half. I was yeah. So bad. I was like, I can't leave. You're allowed to pee. They don't care. Yeah, but I just wasn't there for very long, so I just wanted to. Probably play one hand per hour, so I was trying to get to two in the hour and a half. <coughs> <laughs> tens in the big blind. Bumping things up. 210 to go now. Suited ace wheel for Slick Rick. Solver would say this is a pure four bet hand. But he elects to just call in this spot. You dog. Yeah, the face. Yeah, I was going to say facing a decision on the button with ace jack when you're this strong and you just flatted, your hand's super under rep. So when you do decide to four bet, it's pretty strong and you don't hate it if you get called. Seven hundred into these stacks is definitely super strong. All in. And all in. Tish not afraid to get the money in. Is Ute Dog willing to flip? Do you have a net button? No. I don't think I can call. <laughs> Why'd you do that then? Uh, well, I thought I was ahead until you went all in. I I actually thought I was ahead until you went all in. But now I don't think I'm ahead. Fortunately. Not ahead, but still a flip. Yuke Dog has spent most of the stream stuck so far. Yeah, okay. How much is it actually? 22.48 total? On top or total? Getting an exact countdown. I hate to be the guy that gets a count and then folds. <laughs> who the effective stack is here. And how much he's really putting at risk. I think he's correctly assessing that his jack is live as well. He puts 700 in, he has to call, what is it, 1800 more, 1700 more. Not even, 1500 more, so. Definitely a weird spot when he decided to just flat the button with ace jack and then decides to go big with 700. He's been, yeah, he's just been so on tonight, even though he's down and he just wasn't getting it through in the knit game. His reads have been like super on point tonight. 
has correct equity. Does make the fold. Wow, another steal. What? Wow. Always have. What a freaking sickle. You had your tell. Yeah. <laughs> we could have just cracked this together. <laughs> All you had to do was click the call button. If you knew you had that line, I could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> but it could have been king, yeah. No easy flop. Well, guys, we'll get to see this in, in that range. <laughs> <laughs> Five, in six that, offsuit, I'm, I'm very good against. In that range of uh, hands. <laughs> it was going to come, Rick. It was going to come. Yeah, Michael, that's a tough part. <laughs> It should be a pretty quick snap fold with ace jack, but just when you make it 700 and it's 1500 more to call and your hand's under rep, given that action, it makes it a lot harder. If it plays out normally where Rick opens, you three bet, then Tish four bets, even if you decide to five bet and then you get ripped on, it's even a quicker snap fold, but because you under rep calling on the button, it's just a really weird spot that he puts himself in, and he does correctly assess that he has equity. Just it, you never love the spot, so fold call either way. It, it would have been a correct decision no matter what he decides to do. Another spot here where Rick is on the straddle with four deuce. Hand selection pre-flop out of line, but just correctly plays and assesses the situation post-flop. I didn't love playing hands with him <laughs> yesterday, but like I just hats off to him. Love watching him play on stream. And uh, the poker line clicks it back with a three bet to 350, and Rick calls a 250 more. Super interesting spot now that we have seven of diamonds doesn't really change much of the board texture and dynamic at all. Rick does check when you're lying here after getting check raise and then called. What do you reasonably think your uh, your opponent has? The size to size down to 260. And Rick, this is just great poker. Correctly assesses the hand and just jams it. Doesn't have to be put to decision, calling turn here and then assessing river situations. There's just so much that could be broken down within that hand that I won't get into too much, but it, it's just super sick because what Jack X hand three bets a flop there, and then what type of Queen's better hand three bets a flop there. I think a lot of those types of hands just flats the check raise, reevaluates turn rather than three bet, and then downsize turn. So. Rick just spot on with his reads. I could obviously be wrong with the way I'm analyzing the hand. He might be thinking of it differently, but it's uh, it's definitely just a thrill to watch him play poker. It's not meditation, though. It's different because you're like... Well, not that. Well, not that. I've never heard of what you how much you take. You can sleep for a long time. Shit, I don't know what it's called either. 
I feel like I do that a lot, actually. Yeah. Shut off the mind. Yeah. To see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Furthermore, I'm all in. That's what I did the last time. <laughs> I find myself not really that all in and just like <laughs> accepted whatever was going to happen. Hope, hope and pray. And you think you fall asleep, but yeah. you actually don't. But like, you feel like you just woke up. Yes. Those are so trippy. Trippy, trippy. Happened in school, I think, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why they kicked me out of band, man. <laughs> You're sleeping in band. Yeah. <laughs> Objectively. I don't know how you can sleep in band having all the noise. I am very good under pressure of loud instruments, okay? <laughs> Can you sleep well with good background noise? Yeah, and I sleep with a... Um, like Drew, a over bedding the pot here on the river. Like water running. Okay, like so it's rain. white noise. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So I'm, I'm fine with that. As long as it's not like squeaky or like mm -hmm. uncomfortable. I listen to, I don't know what's called, like we were on an airplane. Oh, yeah. Like a nice calm. Exactly. Calm. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, Houston? Calming noise in the background. Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. What about, like, <laughs> if there's <laughs> I'm up. I'm not good with that. These are always beautiful spots where it's a paired board and you obviously have the best boat and you can try to target ace high, king high hands to call off, which he made HV think about. What do you play? Yeah. Yeah. Like, no. I, this one I honestly that haven't that played a lot at all. Recently. I, that I that used to play a shuffle. It's a like oh, much okay, smaller chaotic. chain. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot smaller. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot smaller. Okay, so don't go back house. to sleep. I'll just like you have to feed them every two hours. Why? Why? <laughs> they're asleep. Don't wake them up. What are you playing? What's their Thank game you. on Wednesday? I think they're. Oh my God! This thing is gone. And five five. When do you find Wednesday? Wednesday Thursday. Right. So can I register on his? Oh, it actually might have. What's the creator um, game stakes again? The one the Wolf Gang puts in? That's the one where it's like a meal. Oh, I thought that was a live stream. No, not live Seven four of diamonds for rude poker, and he's reaching Let's for chips. Go, welcome to the club. Play seven four rush. of diamonds. My usual co-commentator's favorite hand, and the suit with which he made his first straight flush. Let's go <laughs> once again. Four bet by HV to two ten with the knit button. Adam Rude not backing down. I love it. Right color, wrong suit. No flush draw for Rude Boker. But does pick up the straight draw gutter ball outs. This is a great turn of bet after being checked flop and check turn. You have all the ace X's. You actually have equity. And even though HV has a pair, it's going to be tough for him to call a river bet if Rude Poker is able to find it. He came this far. 1,000 in the middle. 1,500 back. He's looking at HV's stack. I don't hate it because you're going to have to bet. It would have been sick to see just the over bet jam, but HV is a good player. He might be able to find the call here. <laughs> I love the table talk and presence put on by Rude Boker throughout this hand. The problem with sizing half pot here is you're going to get called off so much more light because both of you guys are playing the knit game. HV's a vet to the Nick game, obviously, as he plays on well, Champions all the time. So he's very aware of what's going on and willing to call off. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be sick if he threw in the chips with it. 
Super interesting spot. It doesn't sound like we're chopping, but if we chop, does he have to pay it? Well, 500 feels super value-y. It's just... A good price to call. Yeah, it's just too little in this spot. And I think HV recognizes that. Yeah, makes the correct call. Good call. It's just a spot where it seems like you're not trying to risk your stack with a bluff. And you're trying to just get one through. Yeah. Whereas like an overbet jam, even though you're really risking your stack for, you know, a hundred twenty dollar splash pot in a game, it really just puts a pressure. If you're gonna bet five hundred, you might as well just check it back. Clowning around. Mainly because it's into another Nick game pro. Um, I probably would have to, you know, polarize those lines against people like H V. Harry, Tish, yeah. that play the Nick game all the time on stream, that are accustomed and acclimated to those spots. That's a stream hand. What is it? Seven four suited. What is it? Oh, you didn't even know. It's a stream wow. Hand. He didn't even know. What is the significance of it? It's uh, one of the commentator favorite hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam's probably like, it's one of my least favorite hands now. That's why I played it. Right. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely HV's least favorite hand. That specific hand cost him a lot of money. One of the biggest hands played here on Champions. Me? Outside of the Poker Go Cash Festivals, we've hosted a couple times. Uh, HV on the wrong side of the biggest hand here. HV had flopped a set against Bluffalo Sam's. 7-4, open ender, that got there on the river. Adam Rude probably wondering why he ever played 7-4 when he could have just won it much more easily like this and get rid of his knit button. I just had to wait one hand. Just win it back. Hey, but if it works the way it did last time. Again, Bobby the loser of the knit game, but won it back last time with the queen, uh, pair of queens against Tish, ace, king, high. Maybe it will work out again once more in his favor. Right, I can't let the stream, the chat die. Don't do it. Let's go. Don't do it. Woken up. Wait, who lost? I just needed to wait one hand. <laughs> what happened? Bobby lost. I, won. Oh. I don't know Again? why you bluffed. You were just going to win the hand after. Well, well if I had known. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also thought he had Billy clean jack. Because I'm sure this clown can't call with a pair of queens. And then You'd just, be hey, surprised. He beat me in the pot. 180. You'd be very surprised. No, Sizing is definitely a bit different just because of the 120 extra in the middle and dead money. Bobby Filet trying to get his rebate. No seven four was a thing. I didn't know you're supposed to show on the bomb pot. No, you're not. You're not supposed to show. Yeah. Oh, why did you tell me to show? I just asked if you. Had, why, <laughs> I asked why you didn't. Because you're not supposed to. That's yeah, I knew. Alright, you're not obligated to. You're fine. 
Oh, I can go pee now. Folds around <laughs> to slick Rick. Suited this, uh, connector sure and the cutoff <laughs> and a uh, quick call. Bobby Flay on the button. Call that suited gapper. The gap is pretty wide. Can I see a king nine and ten nine to the flop as well. Four players. Ace eight tray with two spades working for Slick Rick. He continues. Bobby, middle pair, going nowhere. And heads up to the turn with 180 in the middle. Goes check, check. Pretty quickly here. And the eight is going to hold... Again? No, 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 I didn't miss it. I remember when I folded, I jacked loose off. <laughs> I have to tell you this. So I felt like I missed it. Can, can I? <laughs> Thanks, Paula. Can I look at the menu? Can I have another water, please? <coughs> I grab some water as well. Thank you very much. Bobby, where the mozzarella sticks good? I've kind of been thinking about them. I feel like I should get them. Super cheap too. Top tier mott sticks. Can I look at one too, please? Thank you. I think I'll probably end up getting mott sticks, but just in case. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm about to take a look after you. Yeah, you might look at them. Perfect. Then we won't even sweat until it's our turn. I think I know what I want. Game, you already know? Yeah, what's chicken? HV with queens. All right. Maybe I should get like this. kind of is. This is very open. Like healthy. Oh my god, and we have a cooler. Probably the first cooler of the night aside from Aces versus Ace King. And HV decides to just flat. That's already going to save him so much money, and oh, that ace wow. high monotone man. flop also going to save him a, a huge know. amount here. You Uke Dog winning the minimum here. Computer HP is just different. It's, He's just it's very so good. good. It's very hard the to grilled chicken sandwich. Was it good? How does he f flat there? Okay. Pretty standard call in the flop. You can't fold just to one C bet. You'll be too exploitable. But obviously, if uh, Uke Dog continues here, oh wow. I don't know if I agree with the check, but works out for pot control, and this might just go check check by the end of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. During the week, I go to bed at. Wow. Yeah, where's the pot? Yeah, where wow. is the pot? Is he going to show it? He's just going to give. HV is just, yeah. He shows the hand to Rick, and he just says he's he's a great player, you know? Would have been a big one. Yep. <laughs> what, 7-4? <seven>, <laughs> no, no, no. He says 7-4. No. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to double up. What time is it? Uke Dog there, and Uke Dog correctly figuring it out. Queens? Can mine just be a raise? Uh, raise. Yeah. Up that Gotta get the V pip up, guys. <laughs> Which is pretty interesting because U Dog's been pretty active, so I wouldn't expect HV to just flat the three bet there, which is sick, but might be a different dynamic given that the Nick game isn't on and then HV's just a different person now. Kings, once again, back-to-back -back in a different hand, a different seat. The lion on the button with kings. <laughs> Always a good spot when you're on the button in position. Three bets of 60 and gets two callers. Rick would have made this 125 or something. 225, probably. Ooh. I checked. I was thinking of full bet. Great flop. We, you were in to what about Lucy? No, I got queens. Uh, or so you had queens with a queen of spades? No, queen of spades. 
Queens without the spade. Easy C bet okay. from the nice Lion. Flat, nice flat. Sixty dollars takes it down. Doesn't have to get tricky at all. Good flag. Good flag. Big flag sometimes. Yeah, he is not getting paid with his monsters tonight. Wait, you were in the big line at him? No, no, no. He was. In the big line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can fly. Oh, can I get the grilled chicken sandwich, please? Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we'll make a grilled chicken sandwich too with that cheese. Oh, yeah? yeah. If you put 12, I'll make 24. Maybe I'll just hold on. I think I'll yeah, <laughs> keep it simple. You know what he's doing. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate that. What? No, I got, I got the grilled chicken sandwich because I think I need protein. I've had a little bit of a headache, and I think protein helps with that. So I think I'm going to try that. Because if I put on 12, he put 24, and that guy going to put 16. And you're going to put on 100. <laughs> Why would you not want them? I mean, the team you got to go ahead and write. But they all put in money on looking at their hands. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going to lose, but. Do you want to add any chicken? Harry, I want to see your four truck and take one. If they have it. Spicy four dudes due to shenanigans. With it? 20. Six ribs and one. Thank you. Seven cold, eight cold. Let's go. I should have doubled this thing. So bad. You are really bad. I'm such a bad player. No, you're I great, man. I should have doubled you up. You I saved yourself. Good, good flat. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> Kings really working their way around the table right now. And rude poker with tens. The way he's not been getting cards tonight and last night. <laughs> this is definitely a premium out of the straddle. And wow. uh, both players got shots to Broadway, but uh, they have each other's outs, which is pretty sick. If one of them hits, yeah, one player would make a set, <laughs> while the other player just makes nut straight. Naturally, Drew's gonna win with backdoor diamonds. Okay, he folded. That's good for the other players in the hand. Brickiest card you could ask for on the turn. I think it's going to come down to who continues the aggression. If Abby continues here, which she looks like she is, I don't think Adam Rude will call. Unless he decides to get a little bit creative and raise, given that he has what we call blockers. Blockers aren't real until the river no does correctly <laughs> fold, <laughs> given that Abby has the other two blockers to what he should be repping. A little fear last night, though. I'm not going to lie. That was a big game. <laughs> and pretty soon here, we should be having the redraw for the giveaway winner after the conclusion of this hand right here. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's just I have a one dollar in. <laughs> I would just like <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. What do you mean? I have the hot odds guy. You have to be good this percentage of the day. Still raised. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you did this? He had aces. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Better have it again. I'd rather play deep stacks. All in. Four folds. All in. Five goes all in. Ooh. That's a net game. Good. <laughs> We have a sick one here. We're just Joe's just dealing monsters apparently. Bobby Fillet, Ace Jack offsuit. After Tish Money raises to 150. I don't hate the jam given the sizing of Tish's raise. The problem is you just get called off by so much better so often, and you're just folding out worse. It does make sense though. Bobby Fillet was on the straddle for the 25. Drew in a spot now. Is he jamming better than Ace King? Jacks are better, and even then, you're more than happy to welcome the flip. Does Tish have a hand that he's raising 150 with? <laughs> Drew does jam on top in a great spot. Snap fold from Tish. Do you want a spot or what do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to do? Twice? Up 
Twice, two full boards has been announced. That's crazy that Joe has been in the box dealt kings, 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 ace, king. Of course, I'm not into strad. I get like seven things too often. I think I need to start straddling 50, is what I'm learning. Yeah, seriously, get that going. That's too easy. Ten plus spicy. Our chop outs to a queen or ace. How many times are you doing it? No. One for Drew. Jack a diamond? Six plus three quarters? Holds for Drew, continuing his run good from yesterday. And the reload already on the felt for Bobby Filet. So behind. I hear the music. Here we see the redraw we were talking about going to be looking for a highlighted name. Plenty of names in there. I believe there's even more names than what are truly showing here that are all entered into this draw drawing. And there we have it. Skull Mike from the Lodge going to get some <laughs> Champions merch. Makes it easier for us to uh, reach out directly, quite frankly. So, one more drawing to come tonight. But Skull Mike, the first winner of the evening, winning a swag bag and merch of his choice. Since we know Skull Mike, we're going to just reach out directly, get in touch with him, let him redeem that. For the rest of you that have entered the drawing by engaging in chat, subscribing in last night's stream, one more drawing to come. Told it's going to be 10 hands from now, hand number 86. Going to see the same thing happen, and then whoever wins, we will be putting the info in chat, letting you know how to reach out and redeem that prize. Open from Uke Dog and the Hijack to 20 HV, three bets with King Nine, my favorite hand, and flops best. Uke Dog electing to just flat pre flop with Ace Queen. HV now checking, letting Uke Dog take a stab at it. is a very good card for HV. Obviously a lot less Jack-10 type hands in Yug Dog's range when that turn comes. So you've got to think your 9 is good. You could be against a hand like Queen-Jack, King-Queen, obviously Ace-Queen, Ace-Jack, Ace, and better. Not so many over pairs. HV correctly check calling both flop and turn after three betting pre flop. Ooh. Unfortunately, though, the river brings Nine. ace. Got ace. Oh. Wow. You dog checking back with his showdown on the river. Think it's a slight misstep, and he, he says it right there that he probably should have value bet on the river. When you're betting flop and turn with complete air and then you finally get down the river, you want to extract as much value as possible. It's very unlikely that HV has a 10 in that spot, so a bit of money left on the table, but still a nice pot to pick up from him.
Poker line opening up to 60 and yeah, just constantly running into hands where Tish wakes up with sevens, flats. HV in the small blind now with ace king offsuit. Sand three bet to 250. Rick gets out of the way with the pocket sixes. Back on the lion. A lot of computers and solvers would say, you know, your ace x suited are four bets, but correctly folds. Tish calling the 250, heads up to flop. Queen, 10, 8, 7 still are good in this spot. But you can never like it. Three overs to the board. You just got three bet. Easy fold. Nah, hand. Gorgeous. Top set, top set. Always. Get on the phone. I agree. You would have bet the river, I would have caught it. Yeah, I know. I was, I was just telling. I don't know why I automatically checked without thinking. Because you get there, you still have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was, a t it was a bad check. <laughs> Very bad check. It's okay, you dog. Yeah. You won the no, pot. It was a bad check. <laughs> you won money. It's okay. <laughs> we learned. I learned a lot from my stream <laughs> yesterday as well. He, raised, he was raised. And then check raise all in, and you put you in top spot. 50 50 call. Coin flip. We'll see. Rude poker starting to mix it up. Ace three off suit raises $20 in the cutoff. I'm going to get some pushback by Cowboy Rick in the small line. Queen Jack off suit. And then Drew. Wow. Shout out to Joe the dealer because he is just dealing monsters back to back. That's another ace king in the under the gun straddle. Pretty justified. Oh, wow. Electing to get tricky because he's in the straddle. Your hand's super under rep. I like it. Flop, however. Cowboy Rick. Top pair, queen jack on queen seven five. This is the only problem with getting tricky with your hand and underrepping it when you don't make the flop. You're just gonna have to let it go. You do lose the minimum. But sometimes you wonder, would it just have been better to four bet and take down that dead money? Easter? I have no god. Oh, Good Friday. That's good what it Friday, is. Good Friday, right, right. It's pretty much Easter. <laughs> you a big market person? I just, I used to work in the industry, oh, so. Right. Um, NASDAQ or something? Yeah. Nice. Classic quit the corporate life. Yep. Became a poker, poker blogger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the typical route, you know. It's you like you were in corporate know. too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Classic Ivy League grad. <laughs> Standard pathway for all poker players. Graduate Ivy League, get a nice job, quit it, do poker and content. Rude poker this time, upgrading from his ace three offsuit to suited. And once again, Rick three betting him. This time with king three suited. Yeah, Bobby Filet in the small blind, <laughs> electing to get in the mix wow. as well. Wow, that's really cool. I've yeah. seen that like on my TikTok for your page. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry if that's like not the way you want me no, to think. No, no. That's how that's the cool. ad we, like, went viral through TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow, that's really cool. Super cool. I've always wanted to try one of those things because yeah. the idea is so there, you know? It was kind of like a random idea my friend had. Yeah. And then everyone thought it was kind of silly. Yeah. And I was like. Once again, queen, five, three, flop. Right. Like, Wait a Rick not a letting down on the pressure when checked to him. Bobby Filet, though, with the nut flush draw. 
pretty much like a dog bed made for for people. Uh, but we're like that. we're like uh, we have like a body pillow now too. And we're like launching more sleep products. Nice. Because you can't you can only sell so many human dog beds. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so we were surprised by how many we were able to sell. Yeah. Especially because our initial goal was just sell one. Yeah. I told my friend like if we can sell one, I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> we sold one. We're like, all right, I'm all in. Wow, that's sick. That's cool. Everyone in the chat is probably like Googling like your company right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the f How can I get one? <laughs> oh, thank you, you so much. Did you say you were pitching? Thank you. Like you pitched oh, it on Shark Tank? Thank you. Yeah, we, we, we got it. Yeah. How long did it take? That was like, wait, how long was the episode? No, I don't, yeah, how long were you actually in there? We were only there for like 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, that's we were one of the shortest uh, oh. recordings, but I know like my buddies were in there for like an hour, an hour and a half. Thank you very much. So it ranges, but for ours it was like, we were super early. We only had been doing the Definitely business for like four or five months. So there wasn't really that many questions. And Do they research you before you come in? <laughs> they're not, no, they're not allowed to. So they just, okay. whatever you tell them, yeah. you gotta go with. Yeah, so it's all like, it's not none of it's scripted. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's who, pretty cool. Who bought it? Did you get a deal? Oh, is it too late to share? Why? No, sir. <laughs> who bought your idea? Uh, we got a deal on air with Mark and Lori. Yeah. So you, can you like just call them if you want? Um. Not really, <laughs> but... <laughs> You're not supposed to talk about it? <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know how much I could talk about it. <laughs> yeah, they, have, they made us sign a lot of paperwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it's, sure somewhere, some, something... Wait, did the episode even air yet? Or? Yeah, it aired like almost two, a year, year and a half ago. Oh. October 2022. Oh. Were you nervous? I was pretty nervous, yeah. It looks petrifying. Yeah, almost yeah, as nervous as when yeah, Slick's terrible. It's taking yeah, like six nine like soon. Business <laughs> people in the world, it's like similar yeah. fairy yeah, in on right. TV soon. And what's his name's mean? We think playing on stream is nerve wracking. Yeah, and the the bald dude's mean. Yeah, he is. Or can be. I mean, if he hates your idea, he tells you to go poo poo. And... <laughs> Mr. Happy, what I always see on my TikTok feed that come um, those. Um, it's a Shark Tank episode, but they edit it. And it's like a little kid, like giving a business edit or like a business pitch. He's like, Jack no. And then it's Jack like Kai the bald Jack. guy always <laughs> posting the bald guy. Jack High, Jack High. I know. I actually turned it. This is the turned worst the idea ever. That's good too. <laughs> and here we look at the chip counts. Rick covering the table as usual. Everyone sitting around close to the same effective stack, 1,500 to 2,500, give or take. V-Pip, always a fun one to look at. Bobby Filet at the top with 40%. Constantly getting in the mix there with everyone trying to represent the chat stream. If I eat, no, I'm, I'm eating in an hour. There's no way I'll be hungry enough. No, I'm good, thanks. Don't do it. Don't tempt this. Good luck, discipline. Rick. What? No? That's that kick's hard. Yeah, I have a lot of discipline. Your wife will thank you. Very good. Sweet tooth? You want me to go next? <laughs> Joe Madden on 280. Joe, you hear me? Oh, my goodness. I like that. Okay. Just to make my again. Iraq empty. Really big. Why are you treating your sandwich? Oh, it's here. Mm -hmm. Insane that Joe deals another oh, ace king. No action this time, though. Mine. What? It's all good. I think she's You have down. half? Yeah, I do have half. Let's just swap. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's honestly all good. I'm actually not. I actually just realized I'm not even that hungry. Here you go. I'm so sorry. No, you're totally I didn't even realize. <laughs> With my shark my eating the sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's big. That's not a big deal. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the last one, right? What time is it, Joe? I was like peeking for the cheese. You're like, this is so that. dry. It's a terrible sandwich. Where is the flavor? Yeah, it's That is a bold strategy. I'm gonna raise that. That's six dollars down the drain. Hmm? I will call. I will give you some action. Since I am essentially defending his straddle, it was really a call for him. Sure you think about it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I guarantee you, one hundred thousand percent. Never call it. 
It's milky. It is. Don't try to leave your straddle off. Oh. Whatever. Hey, Fish, can you pass the nit? We're going to play next time. Actually? We only have an hour left, so let's do it. Oh, yeah. For the people. I probably had aces at hand. You didn't. But you did hold the hand you would have played. Really? Yeah. Sickle, bro. It's your favorite hand. Actually? I don't know what your favorite hand is. Did he tell you? Like we, oh, we, you both, guys, we, both, we both pick it. You know what my favorite hand is, right? Abby Poker Not with the check mark. You probably take it down. Damn, you should have played it then. I'm, I would definitely yes, take it. Yes, I would take it down. Yes. Ace five suited. It was very close. Ace deuce deuce. Oh, that's not my favorite. But, 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 and but, Tish tossing the nip buttons back <laughs> out to everybody. <laughs> I told you, I told you 100%. <laughs> pure three bet. <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> yeah, 15. Tish acting as the nit game sheriff tonight. I'm, for, I'm for, are you raising on that It's actually pretty cool that his uh, SpongeBob shirt. Everybody's wearing cowboy hats as well. Yeah, it's like he just looks like he came out of his shirt. Yeah. Always wearing pink. Always wearing some SpongeBob. And always. Great to have him on stream here. Don't say that. That'll tempt him. Poker gods are more than likely listening. Your mama. Heads up to the flop. Four bet to 75 pre by the ace 10. That does flop best here. But Slick Rick connecting with middle pair as well. to put it on the lily pad. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I'm gonna have it eye up you in case we get heads up. Let's <laughs> check check pretty quick on the turn. Like, <laughs> clip it to be the the old western sound that's like boom, 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 <laughs> yes. boom. <laughs> All right, any side bets and who's heads up? I haven't met heads up today. That's I just have to take one person? That's a miracle. The odds are that I'm going to be heads up this that's, game. That's I'll somebody. put 25 on the side. 25 on the yeah. side that I am heads up? Mm. No, it's going to be me, of course. It's yeah. definitely a spot where the knit game comes into play, but I think they're both yeah. recognizing, at least Rick recognizes that I have to take both, correct? Drew's trying to extract max value in that spot from him, yeah. correctly folds. Isn't just yeah, trying to take advantage of a bluff with a knit game. <laughs> even money. Yeah. You gotta be heads up and then spaz, okay? Usually I'm either the first one or like the third. Mm. <laughs> Same uh -huh. dude. Same. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the K? Honestly, yeah. What happened? <laughs> like for yeah, you, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Kick is I have to, I can't pass. Yeah. <laughs> You're like losing money if you don't. No, it's a big mistake. <laughs> another 50? Yep. Am I going to have to run into it again this time? Yeah, queens this time. Depends if you put it in. I mean, I fuck, so I, I have to fold this one, but. Okay, I can't run into it. Close. Close. Who you got? What I got? This Who's one? your person? You think it's you? I think it is probably going to be me. Okay, I think it's going to be him. If it's neither one of you, it's a wash, yeah? Deal. All right, cheers. You can purposely make it him. I could, but that seems like a bad play for me. <laughs> when oh, 25 to lose, wait, would, you're when so 25 right. 25 to lose 120. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, good shit, Lion. Have my back on that one. You. you can't pick yourself. <laughs> okay, then I think I'm just gonna be. Why don't you pick Rick? <laughs> no. Slick Rick, Rick leading. Who are you gonna be heads up with? With a pair of deuces. It feels gonna be you, but like, who's the other person? Gets things right, heads you're, you're up going into the turn here. Bobby, with the best of it, turn does bring an ace. Likely to make both players slow down here. Check, check. I forgot his name, I'm sorry. Here, it's ready. 
And Bobby gets rid of the knit button. No, I need it in the stack. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. Mm. This is the hand that Donald said this. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm missing it. Because I was just, I was, I was cut off, yeah. All right, I got to get serious. Nick game time. No more eating. For me. <laughs> eating only on the pillow table. <laughs> that one's a two fold. fold. Two fold. Three, three fold. <laughs> Good point, Good Couple of straddles on here. And it folds around to them. Sudi King in the first of the straddles raises to 125. He's like, you know what? I would just won so much. Cleans the table. He's like, I'm daddy tomorrow. It's a hot Quick little pickup there, collecting the blinds and straddles and getting rid of the knit button. Good to see the rook in chat. <laughs> Says she's loving the hats. Brandy playing our cash stream not too long ago and then cashing in our 200K guarantee event recently as well. Hope to see her back on stream pretty soon here. Maybe with a cowboy hat of her own. Abby, the suited gapper in the hijack, <laughs> raising to 60 here. And suited connector, pretty hefty three bet to 225. Slick Rick might be thinking about trying to isolate and put in this four bet that we do see. One purple chip, equivalent of 500 to go. Sevens fold, the 10 8 suited folds. Action back on, five high. Pairs for both players. Checks through. Yeah, HV can't really do anything here. Needed a lot of help on flop and turn. Given the four bet pre flop, Slick Rick. Should have at least one pair by now. If he didn't already have it pre-flop. <clears throat> Check through on the flop and the presence of HV's knit button. Could be factoring into this thought process. And it's going to fold. Defense. Defense. You have to show this. You have to show it. <laughs> yeah. Show one. I need a seven. You have to show I need him. To see a seven. At least let him see. Of course. Oh. Good card. <laughs> good turn. Really good turn. Really good turn. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you. Thanks. And Go. here we have another dealer change. And if my notes are right, we're going to have our second drawing right now. <laughs> my notes are right. So this is what we were shooting for. Some pretty ambitious goals with the content creator stream last night. We did get quite a few new subscribers and appreciated everybody engaging in chat. And those were the only qualifications to enter into this giveaway. Some engagement and subscri subscription previous to tonight's stream. We already pulled for one lucky winner and lucky winner number two. I can't even say it. I get best effort. Kui Kui Z. I don't know that QI I know is good for a lot of points and words with friends. But reaching out, we'll plug it in chat, the info for them to collect and then reach out to them as well. Going to win a swag bag and merch of choice. Got to email Ed Batinga to collect that prize. Going to drop that email in chat right now. Feel free to also sign Ed up for any spam mill that you want to. Ed, also the person to get in contact with about playing this stream here. Also going to throw in a different link that if you do want to play on our live stream here, fill out this Google form link and Ed will get in contact with you. Might be a, way, a while before he can work you into one of these lineups, but at least provide us with your contact info, the stakes that you want to play, the game type that you want to play, and he will do his best to get you on stream here. One of the first sets here tonight, very few sets flopped or even hit along the way, but poker line, a set of nines. Rude poker, top pair. <laughs> time, time to play some real D-stack poker. Poker line has been able to flop some trips, not sets, but trips throughout the night tonight, but hasn't really got them paid off. Just like me. No, no, I'm saying how much I put on the Finally getting a little action with a monster. Okay, so Hearts do come in for nobody. presence of some straights as well but the set of nines with the check mark here at the end um, would you use five bet to four bet 500 black call poker line cold four bet right dragging this one in and getting rid of the nib button as well nigh hand Rough spot for Rude Poker, given that it is a knit game, but I was hoping that he might be able to find the fold, given that the heart came in on the river. Nice hand by Harry, max value. Nines have been a curse for you. Yeah, never, never yeah. it. I could have avoided. Hmm? You would never guess it. I think it was like five, six, or something. I'm adding two. Gio? Yeah. Yeah, it's just in case my friend over here. Some, something bullshit doing something that he shouldn't stupid. have called. <laughs> something bullshit that he shouldn't have even called. Or three bet. I wish the club was on the go. These goddamn balls are over there. HV adding on $2. Excuse me, $2,000. They're like queen four off. Just your normal 1 3 match the stack game here at Champions in Houston, Texas. True. If you haven't been to Champions yet, highly recommend the action, the cash games, and tournaments. 
Amazing <laughs> tournament structures here at Champions. Tournament directors, floors, and dealers, all very experienced. Decades of experience. Doing WSOP and other circuit events as well. We do have the Poker Go Tour also coming to Houston, Texas, right here at Champions. April 24th through May 3rd. Just prior to that, we are going to have a Poker Go Cash Festival as well. A couple higher stakes cash streams. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on all things champions by giving us a follow on social media as well. Links to the social media in the YouTube description box as well. Welcome to Dan Fouts. Welcome in chat. Dan has been <coughs> out dealing these mean streets of champions last couple Fridays. It's been nice to have Andrew Voden joining me in booth here tonight. Really great analysis. It's great having a content creator and mid-stakes player. Ex, ex content creator. <laughs> ex content creator, and we'll see if I get back in the mix. And one, two to five, 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 ten grinder. Yeah, more so one, two, <laughs> one, 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 one Friday classes, Cheddar Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out Cheddar Mike. No, but it, it really has been great. Enjoyed calling the action here tonight with you. Definitely a different setup for you. Uh, you were out on the felt last night here with almost half of this lineup that we're looking at tonight. Yeah, I thought this was a 1-3 content creator stream when I asked Eddie about the lineup. But yeah, it's been super fun. Uh, obviously, I'm always hanging out with you, Kyle, so it was cool to be in the, the booth for this one and break down some hands. Nothing crazy like yesterday, but a lot of cool, interesting spots. Um, yeah, it's high level play in 1 3, which you're going to find in these games in Texas. Some of the games might be wild, but you get into a lot of interesting spots being this deep. Nowhere in the country really prepares you for this type of uh, setting when you're playing, you know, a thousand big blinds deep. <laughs> Fours. Oh Gotta love the pickup with fours. <laughs> By Yuke Dog making his stream <laughs> debut here. He wasn't ahead. He wasn't ahead. He wasn't. That's true. Probably wasn't even flipping. Bruh. I like that. Four, four, four. Thank you. I learned from Slick, actually. Yeah. He, he, he's coaching mm -hmm. me. Slick is in the lab. <laughs> Please don't do it. Oh, no, no. The knit game <laughs> lab. You lost $4 in your blinds. Oh, my God. You sure have to shout out the thing? I don't think that's Cards are out for hand number 90 of the evening. Oh, yeah, because you're a uh, Of course I'm going to call. Coming up on... On the end of this stream, but I'm sure these players are going to go hit, hit the felt and join the rest of champions out on the floor. Stepped in there earlier. Quite a lot of action going on. It's a good start to the weekend here. So three ways to this flop here. Suited king, suited queen, and ace six offsuit. 
for the knit HV. First to act. Does connect. Middle pair. Has the best of it currently. But it's Cowboy Rick leading out. HV going nowhere with a pair. Backdoor Hearts not coming for Slick Rick. Great and turn card. Turning top trips is HV. I think when you check call that flop, you just have to let Rick continue to barrel. If you're not going to lead out with your pair on that flop, you like that hand. especially with the Damn knit it. button, <laughs> just allow Rick to continue barreling <laughs> with all his bluffs. You're just going to fold out better. Your hand's super under rep. Brutal. Two now? No, no. He was already off. Big Bot is coming. No way. Big Bot is coming. Never, 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 never. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway 100. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 100. <laughs> Big straddles coming through. Oh my god. How exciting. Just some 1 3 guys. 1 3. 1 3 mortgage. <laughs> yeah. just get this ready. Welcome to Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Get it ready. Welcome to Texas. Get ready. This is sick. This is so goddamn sick. It has to happen. <laughs> get your fucking aces, all right? You know, I know. I don't even want aces. I have to, like, saying this is sick. This is pretty like classic champion stream. Live stream on the 5-5, five, five, on the 10-25, on the 5-10, on the 1-3. Pretty standard straddles, and the line with 7-4, obviously he can't play it, but what a spot. And you dog too. Unfortunate, Dan. Hands that they cannot play given the straddle action. Tish ripping it. King-Queen with a dip button and a whole lot of dead money. 13 big blinds. Not the worst jam. HV definitely thinking about it because he has <laughs> ace high. All right. Where there's three people? Uh, me, yeah, then those two. Quite a few straddles <laughs> left to get through. <laughs> Losing the first two straddles. All up to Drew. Oh, and he has a hand that he can credibly call off with. He might call right now. We're sweating it right now. All of us together. I'm surprised he's looking at the second one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. At least show me first. Oh, that's close. That's a hand I don't want. <laughs> Huge sweat for Tish here. For Drew, it's only 11 big blinds. I guess 12 with the 200 already in. And Drew's a, Drew's a tourney player. Grinds a lot of online tourneys, multi-tables. So he knows this spot better than anyone. Also, one big last night in that content creator stream. Had a fun time doing it too, so. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if he's willing to gamble a little bit with it. <laughs> Doesn't know how good he is right now. 60 40 favorite. Calling with the white chips. Okay, all right, a little flip. 
Fuck oh, like, if he shows Ace Deuce here, I'm not even happy. <laughs> Five thousand <laughs> is the flip right here. Oh. And a queen behind it all. Tish money. <laughs> Potentially collecting all of it here. Oh. Always oh a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Double Ace gutted no, for really bet on nice. Drew. At least let me get rid of my nip button, bro. At least let me get rid of oh. it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Well, you can get rid of this at least. Two pair, good for Tish Money. Gets rid of his nip button on I the natural know, board, the ball. first run out. These two have had it all in earlier on the stream. Tish did crack the aces, but ace 10 now flopping best on the second board. Sadly, it doesn't really change much, even though you flopped a pair of tens. Still has to sweat those same outs. Oh my god. Tish just running so, so pure. Especially against Drew. Not the night for the Tish Drew heads up match. At least if your name is Drew. With that, a look at the leaderboard. Tish now up 2250. HV and Slick Rick and the poker line now up all over a thousand. Nabby Poker not too far behind that. Everybody else in the red. Bobby Filet down the most. Down over 3,000. Two players down 1,500. That's Youth Dog and Bet on Drew losing that flip. Do appreciate all of you tuning in here tonight. Don't forget, throw us a little like on this stream if you liked it, loved it, hated it. And come on back for more. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. We do cash streams four days out of the week. It's Tuesday through Friday. I'll go ahead and plug our usual cash stream schedule and chat for you as well. Tuesday. It's typically 5-5-10 PLO. Bye. Good meeting you, Drew. Pilo with the Stallions. Wednesday through Friday is No Limit Hold'em. The bigger game being on Wednesday. 5.10 to 10 quarter usually. 5.5 five to 5.10 usually on Thursday. And 1.3 or 5.5 five five on Fridays. Oh, wait. I don't care. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Plus five Never mind. Yeah. And after that flip, unfortunately, we do lose Drew. But hope to see him back here on stream. Oh yeah. Whether it's a cash stream or a final table, pretty soon. Frog v frog action. Frog v frog. And appeal one. Senor frog. Is <laughs> that how much it is? I'm definitely gonna be in this hand. Can I sweat it with you? <laughs> yeah, about five. Good call. Good call. You're ahead. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm on a heater. Jack ten. Oh. Way out ahead of Jack five. Your ace or my ace? Aces are good. Oh, okay. Um, money, no. I should bet. <coughs> It's only seven, right? Yeah, only seven, so it's 105, right? Oh I was anyway. triple barreling. Yeah, it was so 120. Who's going to have it? Who's going to have it? You're going to catch some dusty ass five and get hella sticky would have to pay. <laughs> on Giga <laughs> Tilt. <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Rude. Sorry, sir. Ah, it's whatever. Yeah, what a needle. Mr. Rude. <laughs>
yeah, paying the knit tax here. <laughs> one twenty <laughs> out in the middle. That. That's dead money, Bro, not his really? money. He does Both have a shot at it, have but have so it. does everybody else. Looks like we have <laughs> at least the double straddle on. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Isn't that for broth? Yeah, like actual chicken feet. That dog meat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but mustache man eat. Very, very I think, I think dog feet that. Good for their bones or something. King 10 suited in the hijack. Yeah. Just calling the straddle. Dogs eat a lot of weird shit, like quail eggs. License and plate. Like, I don't know. This is all over my 40 page. This is what's happening to me right now. I'm watching dogs. Suited to Gapper in the big blind. Puts in I, I the call. Yeah. I watch you. And so does the 10 3 and Jack 3 in the straddles. Yeah. And then, yeah. The crunch itches a part of my brain. I didn't know I needed it. For real. I don't know. Something about it. Any crunch ASMR. Poker Lion hoping to end it. That's like probably why I eat most of my food. Just crunch value. Mm -hmm. There's crunch activity. Bobby Flay back in his seat <laughs> while away from the crunch table yep. was dealt what ace length? jack for this hand. Oh my god. Wait, hang on. Jack three. Currently in the no, lead, wow. but nearly Ooh, a coin flip here. On dome? I really like. I know it's kind of weird. No, it hit me. I'm but it. like a real good carrot. Oh, yeah. And oh, equity more than flipped on its head. God. So good. Yeah, it's a little Poker little line so now in the lead. Carrot carrot Top pair so still open-ended. But I don't know. Uh, fuck, I need to think. Let me check. Mm. Tell us, tell us. Do you want me to think through my thought process? I'm going through a couple things. I don't think chips is good because the, the satisfaction is short-lived. Mm -hmm. And the best type of crunch has follow-up crunches. You know what I mean? Mm. Like a carrot has more than one crunch. You take the first yeah, bite. And then it's like, it just yeah. keeps on going. Until just yeah. so I think the nuts no. um, for Poker Lion. Next in my mind is like like a sprinkle because then you can get the same like multiple crunch effect when you're like. You like Let's call it 800 in the middle. And that's probably what I saw my yeah, mind. <laughs> 1750 yeah. back for Lion. That's what he's jamming for. Oh, wow. And Rick asked for a count. That has, that has more. I don't like this spot. It's really because Rick doesn't block any diamonds and he's considering it. Harry's definitely capable of jamming this river with diamonds, but I don't think specifically in the spot with how fast he was willing to get it in. It just doesn't ever feel like a bluff here. 1750 to 700, it's just... It's just, you can find better spots. And Rick's been playing so good throughout the whole night. If he calls here, I'll, I'll be very surprised. Let's run in the chat. What's the best crunchy snack? He definitely has a type of hand where you, you kind of want this hand where you're just not blocking any diamonds. You're not blocking any type of value. But it's just... There, there's definitely better spots that he, he would be able to find in the long run rather than call off here. Or like a pita chip and hummus. Yeah, Those are good too. Yeah. <clears throat> Not what we want to hear, but exactly what poker line wants to hear. Slick Rick loving to put in these non-traditional hero calls. Rick's just really thinking about what type of bluffs that lion has here that he beats. The problem is there's so many 10x, aside, like, aside from diamonds that miss, 
There's so many diamonds that beat him and so many 10Xs that beat him. That's my favorite kind of It'd be different if Lion, like, tried to induce a bluff and, like, went super spawn <laughs> and Rick rejams over the top. But in this spot, Rick's calling off. And as he says, it's it's a weird spot because there there really shouldn't be that many bluffs mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that overjam river here. <laughs> it was a fair flip. Sorry, <laughs> Take your time. Saving me money. So. Yeah, some of those diamond draws that miss. <clears throat> Still have to include King X of Diamonds, like, yeah, Ace X of Diamonds, no, I'm like, that are still beating the Jack Trey of Slick Rick. I'm down for an adventure. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up back with the action. It was twelve dollars pre-flop or something like that. Four ways, forty-nine in the pot, and then it checks to Line who bets a hundred. Which it does feel like a lot of diamonds or like draws. So like, yeah, King-10, it's definitely a draw hand. So he's right in that sense. But at the same time, the only bluffs that he's beating now are diamonds that are like 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 6. Weird diamond draws like that. And then the turn, 275 into 500 that one's definitely value oh and he makes the call yeah he's gonna look back and not like that one And with that, no shock to see Poker Lion taking the lead, dominant lead as well, now profiting a little over 3,300. Couldn't really get things going, but a uh, strong finish. All it takes sometimes is one big pot. Tish Money also, pretty nice profit here. Over 2,200. It's going to be about 30 minutes left. I haven't played much poker recently, so. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a little bit out of it. That's fair. The lion in the chat saying that it was a splash pot four way limp. Yeah. It's just so brutal because I, I don't know what diamonds, like, you're, you're betting all the draws on the flop for 100, and then. 275 feels like it could be continuing with draws and bluffs, but you also have value there. And then River is just, I don't know if I could ever make that call there. It's its pretty sick. Max value. Nice hand. Tens now for Tish on the button. There was no rake. Oh, that's legal. Yeah. There's no time. It was, it was very much like a... Oh, home game. Yeah, like, like a, a friendly... friendly game. Okay. Yeah. I feel like home games uh, now... Those are, those, are, those are definitely legal. No, no, if it's not raked, it's not. I oh, met, I thought you were being... Yeah, I haven't like, been to home game in years. I, this one was truly like... <laughs> Two hearts on board yeah, for yeah. Yuke Dog. Well, the, the Jack High flush draw. What the? That's pretty standard. Bottom yeah. pair. For Slick Rick. I hope she's not watching. She should not, have, she should not have been topless. I would have preferred if she wasn't. You know. What? Oh. <laughs> Try and get by it. You could, you could deal there. It'd be fine. Is that what you're asking? If you could deal there? I got pulled that game. I can get you in. Oh, yeah. Deuce Diamond on the turn here. No real change. I mean, it's really hard to play a pop. The one gay guy is running the game. 
<laughs> Maybe even the gay guy would be distracted. Yeah. It depends. It's hard to bet with a titty in your face. Yeah. You know? Have you ever done it before? I had to. She was dealing topless. Oh. No. I didn't have a choice. She didn't look, right? No, I don't even know what she looks like. I was the pot and then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poker line with some more analysis of that hand there in chat. Saying, Miss Diamonds mostly small pairs. Don't think he's betting a random 10x. The flop. It's not too many 10x combos. Not thinking he's limping. Ace 10, King 10. So it narrows down how many 10x's he can have there. Multi way. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I, I like this. I'll tell you one more. I like the majority of the stream. There's only a couple things that I'm like. Don't forget, Poker Line is one of our local content creators as well. Puts out some really great analysis and vlogs. Shorts as well, actually. I get all the notifications of that. So. Don't have to do it right now, but don't forget, check out the Poker Lions channel. Other content creators on this stream currently include Slick Rick in the four seat. TikTok and Instagram have blown up recently. Puts out some good vlogs on YouTube as well. Currently has a check mark on this hand. A straight. Puts in a raise. Trying to get some of his money back after calling off that rivered straight. An overbet by Poker Line. My mom will say if they say something bad about you, they're jealous of you. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Some girl just went really Rick already knows that. Slick Rick. <laughs> Sizing up the stack here. If you, make, if you make videos, you have to be very... 920 in the middle. Players very deep, but... Now he's the one with the overbet. <laughs> 2,000. Not afraid of the backdoor spades. Given the action here. I can't imagine seeing my teacher playing. Gotta have poker. the effective nuts. Do you know my last name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 Say it on stream. Oh, okay. oh, no way. Damn. Picture proof and everything. Damn, someone's gonna take a hey, picture. Put that up in yeah. <laughs> put that up I'm like holding it up to the, the camera. Proof. Oh, I'll be really <laughs> reaching for these chips here. <laughs> One of them did see me. I'm on Wolfgang's vlog. Yeah. Is it his turn to try to put in a hero call? Yeah, my full name is Nikki Nori. Were you? We didn't know you were cool. Wolfgang. <laughs> Not a single person could ever pronounce that. <laughs> I got all the nicknames. Okay. What's your last name? James. Kinoshita. Kinoshita. Okay. Kinoshita. Kinoshita. Not Pokemon, wow. so I get James. No, yeah. it's Kino. Not Kino. Like, <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. No, wasn't like, Looking like, over, trying to get she, some she, sort oh, of Yukio. read. Yukio. Because my first name is Yuki. Oh, okay. Yuki Nori. Yeah, that makes sense. I got yucky, yucky. What do you teach? What's, like, what subject? Uh, hate to see those calling <laughs> chips in hand. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was going to take yeah. a minute. Sorry, sorry. Take All good, time. Bobby. Tough spot. So is that kids that want to do music, or is that like everybody, has, or everybody has to do? I mean, there's a mix in middle school. Um, I don't remember ever having all Some of them are forced yeah. because they have yeah, to. No a lot of them. a curriculum. <laughs> We make it fun for them, though. I feel like they're out middle school. Do you have to, like, you're at least, you have to do like one of those classes, You have right? to do art. Yeah. Yeah. Some type of musical. Don't think he can really like, find this like call here. Very intense in Texas. A lot goes into it. I wonder if Bobby's trying to love himself after like, watching Rick kind of just lose that big pot to Harry. Thinking that Rick might be steaming, trying to make a move. 
Let's take a. Oh, never mind. I was about to join you in the taking couch. Show the buff. Buff is good. One time. Show the buff. Show buff he did show make it. the fold. Show it. No, show the other one. Oh my god, a buff? Bro. Buff for buff sure. A6? We won't A6 know for an hour. Oh, 6-3 is That's just, just, three, that's just right? the perfect bluff to have there. A6 to A6. I don't know how he gets on, to the man. river you at that know by now. spot. Fucking 6-3 all day. Peeling <laughs> back <laughs> that card. I told you. Further <laughs> confusing Bobby there. Can he really have 6-3 there? Oh, he did. I hope you forgot what the run was. He came out, he told me, Rick is bluffing. Yeah, I thought he was all winning. He has something. Yeah, he turned it. I told you he turned it. Are you, like, really good at telling if he's bluffing? Straddle back on here. Not more than other people. <clears throat> yeah. I, I was Continuing not, the shout outs for some of our content creators here. Abby Poker uh, in the nine seat. Go check her out. So that's, that's a pretty quick snap. Her and Poker Face Ash posted up some little dance that they were doing after last night's stream. Pretty funny little skit they did. Incoming Abby. No way. Jax now versus the Ace King. She's been dealt Ace King probably five times here tonight. Third pair though? What's the worst hand you'd call here? I'm not calling. Oh. I don't even know what he's thinking with. <laughs> hmm? I'll figure out how much to make it though. What's the like, most what are you thinking with? Like yeah, fair. Even top here? Can we get a count of her stack? No. <laughs> Free count of my stack. Most I call? Yeah. She's ran ace king into aces. Like did end up chopping things up. Two seventy five. I will definitely continue well, in some way versus the mid range. Okay, I'm gonna make a two seventy five. Oh, but now ace king versus Jax. But what's SpongeBob gonna do? Hmm? But what's SpongeBob gonna do? I'm listening right now. Continue. Listening to your heart. And how about just a uh, boat on the flop? Mm. How good is life, Tish Money? Small, small continuation here. It's going to save her quite a bit here. You might end up on the tanking couch again. Yeah. Just call. Every wow. By the in position <laughs> boat. The last 30 minutes is safe. Oh, no, I mean Drawn dead on the turn. But picking up gut shot outs. Or so, so she thinks. And another small continuation here. It's like she's really just trying to set her price until she gets there. Queen would be devastating. Yep. If it comes, that's how good Tish runs. Oh, and King will King will also just as good. Yeah. Any Broadway card coming out going to trap her further. Feels like she finally got there but finds a check. Check is great. She has showdown value at this point. She has to think what is Tish reasonably calling flop and turn with that also called pre-flop. Of course, he could have ace jack, but if he has ace jack, you can just kind of let him value on himself. The problem is, we know what Tish wants to do in this spot. If he goes for max value, it's going to be really hard for her to get away. All yep. Oh, Christ. Now it's my turn to tank. Okay. Yep. Sick, sick spot here. Yeah. We had. Just about 1,300 in there. She has 1,800 back. I have such an excellent hand to call with, too. It's like crazy. I lose 
And he does have that hand. No, I lose two more than one hand, but I think that you either have this hand or you don't, and that would suck. Hmm. Yeah, in a four bet pot, Tish isn't really getting out of line. So it really is jacks or nothing, and is is Tish capable of bluffing nothing to in a four bet preflop pot? Maybe he is. Um, it's just such a narrow spot that it, it sucks. It sucks that you know you hit top top at the end of it. But Abby's a good player. We'll see if she can find the fold. <laughs> Can I show my hand right now? I can show. It is not over. I floated the fuck out of this pot like a moron, but it's fine. Now we are here and we make a decision. I figured you were capped here. Yeah, did you? <laughs> that really says quite a bit. Easy for us since we see the cards, but what Tish just said sounds like he was targeting exactly this hand. And if he's targeting it, he knows he can beat it. They're about to get the five hands warning. Only five hands left of the night. She knows that. I actually don't think you think I was capped here. I actually think that I should fold. I think I should. I think that I bloated the pot like an idiot, and I think that the only She's on it. that I really hope you have right now is ten jacks, and I don't think that you have ten jacks. And if you do, then you're playing it very well, and I think there's nothing I should do but fold. I'm gonna fold. Nice fold from Abby. Damn, nice hand. Nice fold, and she gets rewarded by getting it shown right away. Wow. Get ace king. He's nice. He's a gentleman to Abby because a lot of people would just muck that and make her wait until the end of the stream. Not too long until the end of the stream, though. All of these players have already been able to watch all these key spots back. No, no, he had it. It was very we are live with delay four days out of the week, if not more, here at Champions. The hand you ripped it against me had, you had, you had tens. They're living in the past now. HV approved. We're in the present. Now that you said that. Because if you check and then he bet, you call and then you have to call the room. Yeah. And five hands to go. <laughs> Are you saying you, you check call? No, 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 no. I say she, she says she want to check call because she loaded the pot. Oh, great, great fold. On the turn. But if she check call the turn, then she loses the river. Yeah, true. Final five. Final five. Seven four hits the muck. Slick Rick. Suited connector in position. With two callers. Two clubs on board. It is paired though. You're so good enough there to turn 10 jack though into a bluff. You think like so? hundred <laughs> percent. No, I'm serious. I'm so serious. Well, that means a lot. You're welcome, Froggy. <laughs> could have been worse. River could have been clean. That is true. Yeah, true. That would have been a disaster. Yeah. Be harder to um, and I never yeah. would have heard the end of it from HB. <laughs> 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 
Oh my god, you run so pure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. What you gonna do if you check turn? <clears throat> you don't even know. All in. No, I do. I think it's, it's you can still play for it all in the river. But you're gonna bet the turn. You're know. not checking bet. Yeah, yeah. Then you lose whole 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 stack. Good stab for one third. On the river, or on the turn. That's probably what I'd do. Don't get too crazy. Well, let's get straddling, boys. I'm stuck. Let's go. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. <laughs> Here we go. Whee. Maybe. Brutal. <laughs> Want to come back around to me? <laughs> no, it'll stop right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no fun. <laughs> A big blind straddle. It's me. He's like, I don't want to play for 10 big blinds. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. Do you want me to? No. Of course you do. You're welcome. <laughs> I hear the best. I only do my best. Oh, my God. And here we go. Straddles straddle? all the way to the button. <laughs> Can he do that? Is that the last straddle? No, he's Rarely not seen straddle, on stream here. But we are straddled around. I oh. Technically, if he, if he not that, I, not that I'm that interested. I don't want to put 400 out of this. Can you straddle? <laughs> <laughs> I know. At what point does it? <laughs> oh, we can't straddle. How many big blinds do I have? Five? Oh, we can't straddle? Sorry, guys. That's why I didn't. Not even. <laughs> ah. <laughs> So I can't finish out the stream without finishing some of the shout-outs here. You may have caught it if you started the stream with us. The intros. Huke Dog. Putting all of his chips in. And he was who I was just about to shout out. Uke Dog, a co founder. Surrender, fold. Half. European fold. <laughs> of a company featured on Shark Tank. Gonna drop the link to that company's Instagram in chat. Get a quick plug going their way. The world's first dog bed for humans. Think about how comfy that is. And later on, you can click that. Go check it out. Really enjoyed his play here tonight. Not afraid to get in the mix with some wild hands. And really held his own, given the strength of this lineup. But running into Ace King now. So suited a seven versus ace king. I would, I would have liked, I would have liked the eight. straddles <laughs> went all the way to the button here. So these jams definitely making sense. That's super sick because, yeah, the, the straddles on. They're playing ten to thirteen big blinds, but Bobby just waking up with ace king, and these two have been getting beat up for most of the stream tonight, so unfortunate that it's the two of them that have to get it in with each other. I call if I'm in the straddle. You guys just have the same I just got ace high. All right, chop it up, chop it up. Oh, you're good. Ace high. How do you wake up with ace king? Oh my. Wow, Bobby. Oh, I'm not good. So sick. I'm not good. Just it's gonna be tough. You need a miracle. I've done both. We've seen oh, it. Seen it. We've a little seen bit it of life on the turn here. We've seen it. 
on. One time. Heel. One time. <laughs> Two outs, both live on the deck. Only oh one God, shot at them for the chop. Oh, let's <laughs> <Sorry>. go. see. <laughs> Runner, runner, perfect on the second board for a chop. I'm telling you, these two have been running so bad that Bobby can't even keep his 200. He lose like they end up making 100 each because Bobby loses 200 in the straddle through it. What a wild hand! I think the way he called, I thought he got win. These two have been running so bad for most of the stream, and they've been playing like amazingly for the most part. Dude, I felt it. I swear to God. Yeah. It's just <laughs> running bad, but getting there. Yeah. Six spot. I should buy a lottery. What the hell? Six three bullshit. Three times. Am I? Oh, am I? Yeah, in the big bro. I Holy think he had like one percent on the on the. I had like on the second, yeah. less than one percent. Yeah, runner, runner. So Straddle dead. to the button, <laughs> wakes up oh, with Ace King. Wow. Oh my Ace God. seven jams on him. Wow. Oh, the stream. I was ready to go home. Bobby in the chat. And yeah. chops it up. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> top, top, top. Dream spot <laughs> on the second board. I think so. It's on you right here. Oh, it's on okay. <laughs> I'm fourth. <laughs> Two, I think. Or maybe you're third. Three more. Wow, that's Three more. good content, though. That's good content. I know my friends watching right now. Yeah, you could say run it once, but where's the fun in that? Yeah. That's going to get chopped up and put on Bobby's Instagram and YouTube. I should get that, I should get that purple chip. <laughs> this hand, this hand, double, quadruple double straddle. Here we go. One times HP. Uh, Mod God, Bobby Flay really getting a... Uh, Interesting welcome here at Champions. You bozo, I thought you were going to go again. Bruh. I know. So sick. So sick. And then Root that's Poker that's with the deuces. He's been looking at pocket pairs today and yesterday, just getting put in spots where he can never get it in. But this is a spot where nine big blinds, he can rip it. Even though you don't really like it, you're never really liking flips ever. You get counterfeit so often. It's it's a pair at the end of the day. Last night, what I was this stream. It's a, it's a God telling me to stop playing poker. Sure. <laughs> this is your last bit of luck. God looked you in the eye and was like, brother, last time. <laughs> <laughs> one time. This is your yeah, last is your one time. Poker cards <laughs> really said for the stream. Yeah, literally. You're sure of this? Can I buy white sauce somewhere? Deuces. Oh my god, HB didn't call with Ace Jack. Okay. That's computer yeah. HB. Even with no, computer HB, that's embarrassing. That's, <laughs> we need a, a wellness check. He knew. He, he put his face over his hand and he knew it. That was tight fold. Even Rick's probably talking to him right now. My, my heart can't handle it. You don't like that? He was just talking about how Bobby wakes up with Ace King on the $200 straddle and he ends up folding Ace Jack there. That's crazy. Yeah, rack it up. Yeah. I was just worried about Slick calling with like Jack Queen or something. For real, some dumb shit. Jack Queen off suit. With a club and you still lose. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Guess that's the last person I want to get a call from. Alright. He's mad at me. My bad, coach. Ooh, Ace is in the straddle after folding the Ace Jack. Is he getting rewarded? I think he's oh, getting tested. Wow. wow. And Tens shoving out of one of the straddles. <laughs> <laughs> then he gets his seat back. HV loving this. He's definitely salivating after making that ace jack fold. Somehow I mean, gets rewarded right back with it. Yeah, not just that. It's also the fact that it's Bobby, frankly. Yeah. 
These two have had their storyline build up over months. And as Tish says, we've been waiting for this. Right at the end of the stream. One time. Rip it. It's not. It's not better. Rip it. Let the vendetta out. You want to sweat? You want to show one? I don't want to show one. Either two or three. That's me. Really? <laughs> and as we can see, there's only one out left in the deck for Bobby. Oh, nine. Nine. And Jack? Three live outs for Bobby. It doesn't come in. Brutal. They are running it twice. What happens Is ace high good on this board? Pocket ace. What about ace high? Depends on your. Oh, he's got a. <laughs> what is that? Jack. <laughs> put a put a jack out for uh, a sweat. Yeah. I have ace high. Give Bobby, him one back. realizing he needs some help here, believing the aces and not the ace high. It's so brutal. He was he was talking about it an hour or two ago that he wasn't waking up with any pocket pairs above a four, and now he gets one and runs oh, into aces. There we go. Someone's about to slow roll someone. <laughs> ace high, ace high. Show. He did say it twice. I call, right? You have to show first. I call you. <laughs> wow, guys. Honestly, by the end, it was kind of obvious. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah, by the end, it was pretty obvious. But by this point, yeah. Bobby's probably made that, that money, really hopefully, really back <laughs> out like, on the floor. You have to what do you want me to do, Rick? Really? What do you want me to do? You have to be a good actor. I just wake up. Yeah. It's been here a week. <laughs> Actually, over a week at this point. <laughs> grinding things out. Wow. Coming in from New Jersey. And having a profitable and fun trip. And yes, to answer your question, Josh Barney in chat, coming in hot, saying, when are we going to play some real games, real PLO games, 25, 25, 50 plus? It's already happened. You are just new here and firing out blanks. They're coming to town. It's PGT and Champions Club putting on the Texas Poker Open. Plenty of high stakes tournaments. Two million dollar main event. 3,300 buy-in for that. There's gonna be plenty of 5,300 buy-ins and 10.3 buy-ins as well. And just before that gets started, we're going to have another Poker Go Cash oh, Festival. Let's go, Bobby. Let's go. A lot of those cash games will play. Wow, Bobby. 100, 200, or 50, 100. Last, last hand of the stream, Kyle? Last hand yeah. of the night. Deuces are in the middle for 1,000. Were you putting the blender a lot? Harry, Harry is uh, in a spot. And all the good hands I had, like. It was what, 50? Yeah, 50. And then just ripped to 1,000. 55, rather. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Screen. All right, I'm going to be a little bitch. Oh, <laughs> folds, pocket eights. At least give me one call. <laughs> Got his bags. For the stream. For the stream. <laughs> announced. <laughs> Did you just walk away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slick Rick looking for him. Bobby, I want to help you. He said, I want to help you. Do I have two live or no? Definitely two overs. And makes the call. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> That'd be so sick. You have two live? Yeah, I have aces. Probably supposed to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. 
Two boards, so. Two boards. Because he might be shutting like this. Show it? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, I can eat together. I mean, that's not even Decent but flip. 10-9, actually a slight flav favorite. This is so funny. Hmm? Lifting a lot. Two boards, right? I had a nine. I don't even remember what I pulled it. Oh, that's a bad spot for you. Yeah, the worst uh, part is counterfeit outs, but at least that knocks out one board. 10-10. Four to three. Two ten. Oh, oh, oh deuce God. on the turn. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so sick. Scoop incoming. Lion <laughs> Lion's patting himself on the bat for folding eights. <laughs> First board going to the Ducks. Nice hand, Rick. Just hoping Bobby. Is it last hand? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know. There's the eight for a lion. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. You asked for it. You asked for it. Still counterfeit. Outs here. Eight, king, nine, ten. That's a lot of outs. A lot of outs. Ah, scoop. Nice courtesy double by the 10 9 offsuit of Cowboy Rick. What a, what a stream. Great way to end out the stream. Thanks for having me. Shout out to everyone in the chat. I'll be in the room. Yeah, and with that, we'll look at the final statistics. And first, the chip counts. Everybody buying in for 1,000. Bobby originally buying in for 850 and reloading after the fact. Obviously, playing as match the stack, plenty of chips on the table to finish the night. Look at the VPIP, how frequently players are voluntarily putting money in the pot. Pretty active game, as you can see. 42% for Slick Rick, Bobby Fillet, 39%. The PFR, Cowboy Rick, no shock, leading the way here. Tish Money. Getting active pre-flop as well. Yeah, pretty great stream this evening. And the most important board here, HV, Poker Line, and Tish. The only profitable players on stream tonight. Everybody else in the red. Call it break even for Abby. Rude Poker, Uke Dog, Cowboy Rick, Bet on Drew, and Bobby Fillet. All in the red here. Nearly 3,600 and 3,300 for HV and Poker Line, respectively. It was a fun one. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Come back next week, Tuesday. We have a special PLO stream and plenty of No Limit Hold'em action to follow. For Champions Club in Houston, Texas, this is Kyle Miller appreciating... Andrew Voden joining me in booth here tonight. Everybody enjoy the Easter weekend. We'll see you soon. Play your hand, play your hand. No fuck counting the stack, stack in the bags. No fuck counting the stack, stack in the bags. No fuck counting the stack, stack in the bags. Play your hand, play your hand.